Gangadhar, hello Charan. So uh, today we will be discussing the grand test paper number 12. So let's get started. So I hope that your paper was fine and giving this continuous grand test, it was sufficient for you. And uh, you know, when your need paper will come, I think you all will be finding many uh, similar things, uh, right? Yes, is it, uh, is live there today? Absolutely, Charan, today it's a live session. Okay, chalo. So the first question is, which one among the following belongs to the taxonomic category genus? Which amongst the following is genus? Is Diptera a genus? No. Yes, Triticum. Beta, Triticum is a genus, right? One second, let me just take this. Yeah. So, beta, Triticum is the genus. Uh, one minute. Yeah. So, Triticum. I don't know why this is not working. Just annotate. Yeah. Triticum is the genus, right? Sorry for this delay. Uh, Diptera is not a genus. Mucidae is not a genus. And you know, Hominidae is also not a genus. Correct? Mucidae and Hominidae. What are they? What is Hominidae? You know, right? It is a family. Correct? Hominidae family, Homo sapiens ka family. Right? Next question. So, I'll just clear this. Which kingdom of Whittaker's classification lacks membrane bound cell organelles? Very simple question. You know that kingdom Monera, it will be lacking membrane bound cell organelles. So option one is the correct option. Next, moving on to the next question. Prions causes, you know that prions causes various neurological disorders like the mad cow disease. Don't you remember? So the answer will be what? The neurological disorder which is, example can be the mad cow disease, right? Which is also known as the bovine spongiform encephalopathy. Correct? Next, moving on to the next question. A xanthophyll known as fucoxanthin is present in. Where is fucoxanthin present in? It is mostly seen in case, case of brown algae. And which one is a brown algae? It is ectocarpus. Correct? So, ectocarpus may you will be finding fucoxanthin. Right? Now, next question. Assertion. Radish has modified taproot. Absolutely correct. Radish has modified taproot which is used for the storage of food, right? And the reason says modified roots of radish are meant for nitrogen fixation. Is it a correct answer? I think you all know that it is not a correct answer, right? So, it is assertion would be correct but reason is not correct. So, assertion is uh, correct and reason is incorrect. So, option 3 is the correct option. Moving ahead to the next question. Choose the incorrect match. A luron layer found in castor. This itself, it is the incorrect match. Yes, you do find scutellum in case of maize. And droop, you know that droop, where do you find it in? You find it in case of mango. You find it in case of uh, coconut, right? And then what do you have? You have the papillonidae, which is a subfamily of the leguminaceae family, right? So today, do you know what is the leguminaceae family also called? I think all of you know this. Today, the leguminaceae family, it is also called the Fabaceae family, correct? Moving ahead to the next question. Annual rings are formed by, annual rings are formed by, uh, which one? It is formed in the wood, correct? And what exactly is the wood? Wood is the secondary xylem. So simple, the answer would be secondary xylem. I think you don't have any doubts here. Uh, moving ahead to the next question. G. N. Ramachandran discovered the... G. N. Ramachandran is related to which chapter? It is related to biomolecules. Do you remember? It is given in the starting portion in the unit introduction, right? G. N. Ramachandran, he had discovered the triple helical structure of collagen. So, this is the correct answer. Next, let me delete it. Yeah. So, a polysome has several peroxisomes. Come on now, guys. What is a polysome? Polysome is something when an mRNA is there and on this mRNA, may, many ribosomes are attached. Then it is known as a polysome or a polyribosome found in case of the prokaryotic cells. So, the answer would be it is several ribosomes which are attached to mRNA. So, second option would be the correct answer. Next, let me delete it off. 
which one is an aromatic amino acid very simple question is valine an aromatic amino acid no lysine no which one is it tyrosine tyrosine is it it is an aromatic amino acid so this one is the correct answer moving ahead to the next question right choose the correct match nad do you think nad is a prosthetic group i think that you know it very well that nad is not a prosthetic group cofactor it is it a protein part of the enzyme no cofactor is not the protein part of the enzyme coenzyme inorganic component this is also not correct coenzyme is not the inorganic component of the enzyme apoenzyme is the protein part of the enzyme and this is the correct match right moving ahead to the next question choose the cells that never enter into the cell cycle which cells will never enter the cell cycle very simple you have this is there in your ncrt you know that the cells of the heart it will never enter the cell cycle right so it is the heart cells next let me clear this off match column 1 with column 2 so let's see again a match the following you know that match the following comes in a huge number in your neat examination so the first one prophase prophase what happens in prophase initiation of the chromatin material so two what happens in the metaphase the chromosomes are, uh, uh, are arranged in the equatorial plate right one of the characteristic feature so the chromosomal movement towards the center of the cell yes this is metaphase next is anaphase what happens during anaphase it is involved in the chromosomal splitting right what will happen there will be the splitting of the chromosome right and or rather we will say that the centromere will split right so chromosomal splitting at the centromere so four and telophase there will be the formation of the daughter nuclei right so this so the answer would be a2 b1 c4 a2 b1 c4 and d3 so option 3 would be the correct option theek hai aage badhte hain right let's move ahead clear the skin potassium is not involved in it is involved in the activation of enzymes there are many enzymes in glycolytic pathway in several other processes which would be requiring potassium for its activation it helps in protein synthesis yes very important point you have to remember that potassium does help in protein synthesis and it also helps in maintaining the cell turgidity but please remember that potassium is not involved in the splitting of water molecules the uh, like you know uh, elements like calc uh, like uh, chlorine manganese they are involved in the splitting of water molecule or the photolysis of water right so this one photolysis of water does not require uh, potassium moving ahead the oxygen scavenger is nitrogenase nitrate reductase nitrite reductase leg hemoglobin simple question oxygen scavenger oxygen scavenger during the process of nitrogen biological nitrogen fixation it is the leg hemoglobin leguminous hemoglobin right because the enzyme nitrogenase is highly sensitive towards oxygen hai na it is highly sensitive towards oxygen and for that reason bachcha uh, you know the nitrogenase enzyme needs to be protected and it will be protected with the help of the leg hemoglobin which will be acting as an oxygen scavenger and it will be taking out all all the oxygen nearby the nitrogenase enzyme theek okay? hai next question very simple one again a uh, reaction center of photosystem 2 shows light absorption maxima at a wavelength of simple what is photosystem 2 also known as p680 so its absorption maximum will be at 680 nanometers theek okay? hai right ya yeah, pure in english only i'll be teaching okay next okay did we miss one question yeah let me clear the screen okay fatty acids enter into aerobic respiration in the form of this is there where in the chapter respiration why where we are discussing about the amphibolic pathway right just before that so it's clearly mentioned that fatty acid would be entering aerobic respiration as acetyl coenzyme a i don't think you should be having any doubt so it is the acetyl coenzyme a pure line from the ncert right moving ahead to the next question choose the correct statement higher the solute concentration higher the osmotic potential no this is not correct 
higher the solute potential higher is the pressure potential how can that be correct because what is the formula we use psi w is equal to psi s plus psi p correct so there is uh, like you cannot say that if the solute potential is in concentration is increasing then the pressure uh, uh, potential will also increase there is no uh, it cannot happen like that higher the solute concentration higher is the water potential again the statement is incorrect why because if the solute concentration increases then automatically what will happen to the water potential it will decrease correct it will decrease so this is incorrect higher is the solute concentration higher is the osmotic pressure absolutely correct right so more is the solute concentration more will be the uh, you know osmotic pressure which will be required to prevent the entry of the water inside the uh, thistle funnel you remember the thistle funnel experiment which is used for the osmotic pressure right so from there you can say that higher the solute concentration higher will be the osmotic pressure that would be required next moving on to the next question formation of cork is an example of cork is an example of redifferentiation and uh, cork is formed by what redifferentiation what is redifferentiation first there is meristematic cell correct from the meristematic cell by the process of differentiation what would be formed the primary permanent cells would be formed now some of the primary permanent cells would regain their ability to divide that is they would de differentiate correct and they will again form the secondary meristematic cells right and then again some of the meristematic cell would convert into the secondary primary cell and this process beta it is known as the de re differentiation so cork it is formed where it is formed by the process of re differentiation so basically what will happen the phylogen which is the secondary meristematic cell right it's a secondary meristem and it will produce the cork it will produce some cells which will have the deposition of suberin and they'll be forming the cork so cork is basically a redifferentiated structure moving ahead to the next question so again it is a match the following so let's see what will it be promote apical dominance who promotes very simple it is promoted by auxin promotes adventitious shoot formation who helps in adventitious shoot shoot formation cytokinin promotes bolting who gibberellin promotes root hair formation ethylene so the answer would be a2 b3 c4 and d1 so first option would be the correct answer next so this is a simple question but you have to remember the data hai na you have to remember the data house fly no it does not have 6 it has 12 right fruit fly yes they are asking for the correct match okay so fruit fly it indeed has eight chromosome in its meiosite you know that rice has 34 maize has 20 so again only this one is the correct answer right that means this is the correct match theek now moving ahead tapetum is very simple you know that tapetum it is an anther wall right it is the innermost anther wall and what does it help in it provides nutrition to the uh, you know microsporangium right so it is a nutritive tissue of the microsporangium is it haploid no tapetum is a diploid cell it is not haploid right chalo aage next which cell of embryo sac becomes triploid after double fertilization which cell of the embryo sac will become triploid very simple right the central cell the central cell it contains the polar nuclei correct it will contain what the two polar nuclei the two polar nuclei fuses to form the secondary nucleus correct and now with this secondary nucleus the male gamete will fuse and it will form the primary endosperm nucleus which will be triploid correct and where exactly bachcha is the primary endosperm nucleus present the primary endosperm nucleus bachcha it is present in the central cell correct and this central cell will now form the primary endosperm cell right so which cell of the embryo sac would become triploid the answer would be the central cell correct i hope it is clear yes double fertilization very good orchid okay next is let me clear the board 
which trait of P is recessive? Simple, straightforward question. Violet flower, dominant trait. Inflated pot, dominant trait. Terminal flower, exactly. It is a recessive trait. Now, the next question. Choose the correct match. Incomplete dominance or partial dominance. Flower color of snapdragon. Yes, this is correct. The flower color you remember, right, of snapdragon. Pink, red, white, right. So, pink is capital R, small r, red is capital R, capital R and this is small r and small r, right. So, this one is the correct match but let us see the other options also. Blood group that is co-dominant, blood group that is co-dominant, oh no, it is AB, right. Dominance pattern of inheritance, size of starch grain, no, size of starch grain shows incomplete dominance, you know that if it is capital B, capital B, then the starch grain size would be large, if it is capital B, small b, then the starch grain size would be intermediate, correct, and if it is small b, small b, then it would be small. Right? So, it does not show dominance pattern, polygenic inheritance, phenyl ketonuria, no, phenyl ketonuria is an example of pleiotropy, not polygenic inheritance. So, all of these are incorrect, first option is the correct match. So, that is all from my side and Kiran Madam will come and continue with the rest of the session. Thank you so much. Just wait for one minute. Hello everyone, now we will be discussing the remaining 25 questions from Botany, my dear students. So are you excited to know what are those next 25 questions and what are the correct answers? So let's find out that. Uh, it's one second, it's getting stuck a little. Let me check. Just a moment. Just wait for two minutes, guys. The board has actually got stuck. Just one minute. The questions are coming up. Just wait for one minute, okay? Okay, let me try this again. Okay. So till here it was done, right? So there are no questions. We are on it. Just, just, just wait for a few minutes. Next. Hmm. Yeah. So I have to spin. So your question number 126 is a nucleoside lag. That's a pretty simple question, my lovely kids. And what, what simple you can expect from this particular chapter. So a nucleoside actually lack what? So can anybody tell me in the chat box what it, what it lacks? Very simple, my kids. It actually lacks a phosphate. So remember, kids, whenever to a nucleoside, a phosphate group is at, it converts into a nucleotide. Pretty simple. Yes, everybody present in this class, let me know that. Okay, next question, my lovely kids. Semi 
okay this okay this is coming now in all options so sorry for this i will be rubbing and get giving you the right answer okay so semi conservative replication of dna in eukaryotes was first demonstrated by taylor in plant namely so my dear students the answer in it is vicia faber the answer is vicia faber next question your 128 the answer is already marked out here RNA polymerase three of eukaryotes transcribe rRNA, tRNA, and snRNA. Is this clear? Is this much clear? Everybody present in this class? Okay. Now let us see our one twenty ninth question. Among the following, here also among the following amino acid, which one has only one codon so that's right my dear students tryptophan has the one codon next question here i will erase okay so choose the transcribed gene of lac operon that has information for formation of repressor this question is from your regulation of gene expression my dear students and here repressor protein is actually formed my kids from from lac i gene it forms a, a repressor mrna that will form a repressor protein so the information for formation of repressor is present in lac i is this much clear everyone next question soma clones are present in soma clones are so what is the definite correct definition of soma clone let's see out here soma clones are morphologically and genetically identical plants obtained from a single parent through tissue culture through tissue culture morphologically and genetically identical plants obtained from a single parent through tissue culture you must have heard about this word you must have studied about this word soma clones my lovely kids where you have studied it actually in your chapter number 9 plant breeding class 12 next question and there under the topic tissue culture next question cyclosporin a this is from your microbes my lovely kids cyclosporin a is used as so can anybody tell me what what answer you have given for this one in your paper so the answer is cyclosporin a is used as or used to used as immunosuppressive agent to suppress the immunity organ transplant mein okay yeah right next question eco ri identifies the sequence on dna and cuts the dna strands between so can anybody tell me what answer you have given for this one is it adenine 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 purine adenine thymine thymine cytosine or guanine and adenine can anybody tell me can anybody tell me so the palindromic sequence is g a a t t c so it cuts between g and a guanine and adenine that's absolutely correct sundar impressive next question 134 okay let's see on 134 proteins encoded by the gene cry 1 ab control protein encoded by the gene cry 1 ab is going to control the corn borers it's from your biotechnology principles and application so remember cry 1 ab for corn borer and cry 2 ab and 1 ac for cotton bollworm please do not get confused next okay so in hydroc hydroc it's a type of a succession which takes place in the aquatic uh, body my kids in hydroc submerged plant stage appears prior to the submerged free floating plant stage that's absolutely correct lichens help in weathering and soil formation that is why they are the first one to colonize whenever the situation is xerac or whenever the succession is taking place on 
wrong. So both the statements are actually correct over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Is this clear? Okay, excellent. Okay, so your name is Lolo. That's right. Okay, match the following. So this question is from your biological classification. So let's see cell wall with stiff cellulosic plates. Cell wall with stiff cellulosic plates uh, is a character of actually dinoflagellates. Cell wall with embedded silica in it. So cell walls with embedded silica is a characteristic of ditum which is a member of chrysophytes. Cell wall has chitin in it. So cell wall with chitin is present in fungi and club fungi is a member of basidiomycetes which is a fungi. So cell wall of fungi, that's simple. Only spores have cell wall but not the vegetative body. Okay, only spores have cell wall but not the vegetative body. So this is actually a character of slime molds my dear students where the spores possess the spores present in the fruiting body. Remember, fruiting bodies are produced in the adverse condition and the spores possess the true cellulogic cell walls, right? But not in acellular or cellular slime molds. The cell wall is not there. So, stiff cellulogic plates A goes with 4, B goes with 3, cell wall embedded with silica and C goes with 2 actually, C goes with 2 and D goes with 1. So let me check it once for you kids. A goes with 4, B goes with 3, C goes with 2 and D actually goes with 1. Correct guys? Yes, excellent. Ideas of Charan, Kalyan, okay. Satvik, excellent. Hello everyone. Welcome to Infinity Learn. Let's participate. Let's try to solve this. Next question. Which of the following is correct statement? The dominant stage, correct statement, okay? Please read out nicely which of the following is correct. The dominant stage in the life cycle of bryophyte is sporophyte? No. Angiosperms, okay, then pteridophytes have tap root system. Gymnosperms have both ovules and archegonia. Angiosperms have haploid endosperm. So if you notice my dear students, gymnosperms have both ovules and archegonia is in fact the correct statement. In the ovules of gymnosperms, archegonia is present in which female gamete is formed. So this is absolutely correct. Gymnosperms have both ovules and archegonia, which was further archegonia will not be present in the angiosperms. Next question. Choose the features shown by mustard. Okay. So alternate phyllotaxy. Yes, this is a character of mustard. Perigynous flower is not the character of mustard, my dear students. Androsium with two different length of stamens, yes, tetradynamous condition is found and parietal placentation of ovule is also there. So, perigynous is wrong. This is right, this is right, this is right. So, A, C and D. A, C and D. Is this clear? Excellent. So, let us see my lovely kids. Now, the next question. Okay. Tetramerous flowers, marginal placentation, obliquely placed gynosium and basal and liner leaves. So can you tell me what was the right answer for this one? Yes, Kalyan, Vamshi, try this out my lovely kid. So very simple from the basics you can start. Obliquely placed gynosium where you will see Solanaceae, marginal placentation, Fabaceaceae, basal and liner leaves and tetramerous flowers in Brassicaceae, right? So, A goes with 4, B goes with 3, C goes with 2 and D goes with 1. So, fourth is the right answer. A goes with 4, 
B goes with 3, C goes with 2 and a D goes with 1. Okay guys? Next. Good. Next question. Statement A. Meristem is present in vascular bundles of dicot stem. Yes, cambium. Remember, meristem is present in the vascular bundles of dicot stem in form of cambium, intrafascicular cambium. That's right. All tissue systems have parenchyma. So, both the statements are correct over here. Next question A component of cytoskeleton. A component of cytoskeleton is also a component of flagella, centrioles and spindle fibers. It is none another than microtubules. This is pretty simple, right guys? Pretty simple. Next question. Yeah. So, meiosis 1 does not show. Meiosis 1 May synapsis, yes, it take place, my lovely kids, during zygotene, crossing over during packetine, chromatin condensation into chromosome, yes, during the prophase 1, but daughter chromosome formation, this will not happen, this is a characteristic of meiosis 2, anaphase 2, right? Any doubts till now? Perfect. Next question. Differential different integral membrane proteins are involved in either active or passive transport yes integral membrane proteins you need active and if i talk about passive in the facilitated diffusion carrier proteins are either passive carriers or active carrier yes if they are participating in facilitated diffusion they are passive carrier if they are act uh, participating in active transport they are active carrier so both the statements are correct over here clear guys yeah next question then decarboxylation of malic acid takes place in so decarboxylation of malic acid is a in which pathway do you see it any guesses pretty simple in c4 pathway you see it and it is also known as hatch and slack pathway decarboxylation of malic acid takes place in hatch and slack pathway next in glycolysis my dear students inorganic phosphates are utilized in so in glycolysis inorganic phosphates are utilized during hexokinase reaction see do not get confused here what is written utilized is written utilized is written right so inorganic phosphates utilization will take place in which reactions right so in glycolysis inorganic phosphates are utilized during oxidative reactions next gate no gammy gate no gammy is defined as so remember there are three types of pollination my lovely kids remember there are three types of pollination autogamy gatenogamy and the xenogamy so if you note my kids in gatenogamy the flowers are different but the plant is same so gatenogamy is defined as deposition of pollen grains on the stigma of different flower present on the same plant so I guess the three one matches deposition of pollen grains on the stigma of another flower of the same plant. So gate no gamma is defined as deposition of pollen grains on the stigma of another flower of the same plant. Next question, choose the correct statement with respect to dihybrid cross on drosophila by Morgan. So my dear students, if you see yellow body dorsophila is dominant, no. Uh, brown body is dominant genes for eye color and uh, body color on y link no they are x link long winged drosophila is dominant no ah yes long wing is dominant and miniature is recessive that's right genes for eye color and body color are loosely linked and genes for eye color and length no this is opposite so only third one is correct 
long wing or normal wings of drosophila is dominant over miniature wings right guys next match so let's see this match over here high yielding and disease resistant variety disease resistant variety okay insect pest resistant variety and variety with improved nutritional value so i think my dear students variety with improved nutritional value it has to be atlas 66 insect pest resistant variety my dear students it is pusa gaurav disease resistant is my dear students pusa swarnim right and high yielding disease resistant variety is sonalika so a matches with three b matches with four c matches with two and d matches with one correct next okay so choose the correct statement curd is a dairy product obtained from milk by the fungi no toddy is fermented by palm sap that is right swiss cheese is from bacteria wine and fermented through the distillation no okay so the second option is right next question the last one in pbr 322 is a gene if a gene is inserted at cla1 site it results in it will result is no insertional inactivation so these were your remaining 25 questions from botany thanks for listening guys Escape refresh. Should I do it now? Hello everyone, here I am Maithili Aburi, your zoology faculty from Infinity Learn and we are going live with the mock test zoology solutions here i am to explain the zoology solutions for you i know this is your last mock test you're all set for your neat examination all the very best to you you're going to do just great you're just going to do very very great uh, let's go ahead with our zoology part okay the first question here it goes read the following statements the skin is covered with placoid scales in both chondritic thighs and ostic thighs do you think so it's the chondritic thighs which are the cartilaginous fishes where we have the placoid scales ostic thighs on the other hand do not have placoid scales it is cycloid or the tenoid scale so this is not the correct statement the skin of birds is dry and without glands except for the oil gland present at the base of the tail yes that's right it's the oil gland that is present in there it's also referred to as the preen gland which is helping with you know uh, keeping the water away it's a water repellent as well as keeping the feathers clean the skin is moist and scaleless in both amphibians and reptiles do you think so again it's moist and scaleless 
with regard to amphibians. Reptiles, on the other hand, have dry, cornified skin, which has scales or scutes, right? Lizards and snakes shed their uh, scales as skin cast, and that's right. So the statements we choose, uh, which are the correct ones, correct ones, please do mind these correct, incorrect, not very, very well when it comes to your actual NEET examination. This is a very important tip I want to give you. Please mind the state the questions which have not in it, correct in it or incorrect. So coming back to the correct answer, it will be the B and D statements which are correct in this particular one. Okay. Uh, let me erase those annotations there. Which of the following are true about asthma? Alveolar walls are damaged. Where do we find the statement in the NCRT? It will be emphysema. Right? Difficulty in breathing causing wheezing. Yes, exaggerated response of immune system. Remember, it's a hypersensitivity as far as asthma is concerned. Often leads to lung fibrosis. Is it so? Again, this is something that's concerned with occupational disorders like the silicosis or the asbestosis. Inflammation of bronchi and bronchioles. Yes, that does happen. So we have a, B and E as our answer, the, sorry, B, uh, C and E uh, that I already have written emphysema. So it will be difficulty in breathing, B, yes, exaggerated, C, yes, and inflammation, E. So B, C, E, that will be your answer, right? And let me erase again. Antiretroviral drugs are used in the treatment quite easy. So which of these is actually caused by a retrovirus, HIV, which will be the AIDS. So antiretroviral drugs are used for the treatment of AIDS. Remember, it is only helping with increasing the lifespan. It's not a cure which can actually get rid of AIDS completely, right? Uh, so that is your answer. Uh, let me erase. The protein hormone secreted by the thyroid gland. Remember, the thyroid gland is secreting the T3, T4 hormones as well as TCT. T3, T4 being the idothyronins. TCT, on the other hand, is a protein hormone. Parafollicular cells are secreting it. That is helping with regulating the blood calcium levels along with PTH, parathyroid hormone, right? Uh, the auditory receptors are located in quite an easy question again. So ampulla, saccule, utricle, we are talking about balance. It's the cochlea which will have the auditory receptors, the organ of corti, right? That is what is present in, as an auditory receptor. The shape of an age pyramid reflects. The shape of an age pyramid, recall we have two types which we are talking specifically in your class 12 syllabus, ecological pyramids and age pyramids. So mind this word age pyramid that we are talking about, it is reflecting the growth status of the population. Basically we have the pre-reproductive population at the base, right? And then the reproductive population and post-reproductive population, if you're looking at a stable one, right, growing one. These are the three age groups that you usually find, declining one or growing one or a stable one. Three age groups that you would see is a pre-reproductive, reproductive, post-reproductive, post right? It's the growth status of the population that is being reflected in an age pyramid. And then we go with the next. Stroke volume is the volume of blood pumped by. It looks easy, but please do pay attention to this. Each ventricle per beat. 
per cardiac cycle stroke volume we are basically talking about volume of the blood pumped by the ventricle in one cardiac cycle which is one heartbeat when we are considering an entire minute it will be the cardiac output so it's basically each ventricle per beat right and then which of the following is not an accessory duct again please 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 pay attention to such words not an accessory duct in the male reproductive system in the male reproductive system there is rete testis this vas efferentia epididymis vas deferens these are all the male accessory ducts right it's the seminiferous tubules which are not a part of it they are helping with the production of the sperm within the testis right so our answer is also that and here we go with the next question by counting the number of qrs complexes that occur in a given time period one can determine the very very simple straight ncrt question this will be the heart rate you can determine the heart rate stroke volume cardiac output all these are not possible to be calculated from by counting the number of qrs complexes yes uh, there is tharani who is answering it as one great tharani keep going that's the right answer the double ventral nerve cord of a cockroach bears again cockroach is something that's quite important possible question from as far as your neat syllabus is going also the earthworm and frog that are not included yes rarely those questions did appear but cockroach is quite important included within the syllabus right so there are three ganglia in the thorax and six ganglia in the abdomen so it will be the fourth one it's a double ventral nerve cord there are three in the thoracic region and there are six in the abdominal region right so let's go with the next question fertilization of which of the following gametes can cause klein felters syndrome first of all let's recall the karyotype of the klein felters what is the karyotype yes let me see some answers there are a lot of you guys chatting on the chat box there let me see who will go with the karyotype of the klein felter syndrome yes anyone can you come about with the answer the klein felter syndrome the karyotype is something that is represented as yes i'm waiting for you guys to answer it will be basically the x x y so this is possible with axy sperm carrying both x and y chromosomes and ovum having an x yes sai sindhush got it right excellent this govardhan reddy who is saying uh, govardhan just mind it here you can look at it one more time if at all you are looking at two it will be a triple x so it's basically xy and x coming together x x yes now what you got it right govardhan so the chipko movement again very very easy chipko meaning where they are hugging the tree it's a great movement that has started in order to be able to protect our forests the chipko movement is something that is concerned with the forest conservation in fact in south also the same movement was carried out in western ghats called the apiko movement right so this is something that is inspired from amrita devi bishnoi if you recall your case study from environmental issues as far as deforestation is yes 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 many of you are getting it right excellent excellent this pradhana this uh, govardhan this sindosh everybody is getting it right it's three forest conservation excellent dear keep it up and then we go with the next question the sporozoites of plasmodium vivax are stored in the again a very easy question the sporozoites of plasmodium vivax so where are we getting these sporozoites after a mosquito bites uh, uh, you know a person these are immediately transferred into the blood stream go into the liver basically it's storing it in its 
salivary glands yes 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 again a lot of you have come up with three this lakshmi chitra this himanshu all of you are getting it right excellent great going keep the rhythm going for your neat examination and you are going to crack it right so salivary glands of the mosquito and then match the items be very very careful with the match the following you know the thing with match the following is that you are definitely going to get it right there are two columns uh, different items to match you are definitely getting it right but the, uh, you know while marking it is something where you tend to get confused so be very clear stay focused and you will get it so milk ejection milk ejection you know it is the milk let down so we are not talking about secretion remember ejection will be oxytocin so milk ejection basically it is oxytocin right milk let down hormone it's not only helping with labor but release of the milk as well then it is milk secretion secretion will be helped by our prolactin this is the hormone that is responsible for the secretion of the milk and then we have bicarbonate hco3 that will be helped by our secretin remember the gastrointestinal tract hormones secretin is something that's helping with pancreatic enzyme not only pancreatic enzyme but contraction of your gall bladder is something that's helped by cck cholecystokinin so where do we see this answer milk ejection will be our oxytocin which is 4 1 and then we have 3, 2, 4, 1, 3, 2. That will be our second option. Right? So be very careful with your neat question paper as well. Genetic engineering has been successfully used to produce. If at all you learn all your applications of transgenic animals carefully, you crack this answer very, very easily. The first transgenic cow that produced alpha 1 antitrypsin, is it? So it's the lactalbumin alpha lactalbumin that is produced by the transgenic cow which is rosy transgenic mice to test the safety of the polio vaccine that's absolutely right first transgenic sheep that produces alpha lactalbumin again sheep is something that has produced antitrypsin which is helping in treating emphysema which is alpha 1 antitrypsin transgenic animals which are less sensitive to toxin no they are made more sensitive so that they can be tested upon for any toxic substances so our answer is basically two yes Lakshmi Chitra Sindush um, uh, hopefully I'm getting your name right Sai Sindush right Govardhan Surya right excellent excellent all of you got it right superb the during fertilization the entry of the sperm induces the completion of so once after the sperm entry is done that's when meiosis 2 is going to be complete right so it is basically arrested at metaphase initially when meiosis 2 starts it's not completed when we are talking about ovulation ovum comes out but it is at an arrested metaphase 2. It is only completed after the entry of the sperm. So it's meiosis 2 of the secondary oocyte that is going to be complete. Right? During post industrialization period in England, the dark winged moths became dominant in numbers because why is that they have become dominant, the dark ones? post industrialization that is after industrialization what happened there was a lot of soot right which has covered the tree trunks and before that there were lichens which were almost whitish color which covered the tree trunks now you know lichens are sensitive to pollution they're very good pollution indicators straight ncrd statement so when they're covered with soot which has the advantage to escape from the predators the advantage of camouflage that would be the dark winged moths so obviously they were uh, you know increasing in number they could camouflage 
successfully. Distasteful to predators, recall your monarch butterfly. From there, they have taken that. White winged moths immigrated to unpolluted areas. No, they again were high in number in a city like Dorset coming to Birmingham because it was unpolluted. And the growth of uh, lichens impart dark color. No, they impart white color to the tree trunks. Kidneys do not play a significant role in the removal of excellent, excellent question. It is based on your straight NCRT, but given in this manner. The uh, excretion of which nitrogenous waste doesn't require kidneys to play a significant role. That will be your ammonia, right? Ammonia is the one uh, note a series as in, okay, we have that coming up. Uh, you do not have to worry, Namju, we do definitely have a test series being launched for 2023 also. Please do uh, uh, log into our website, Infinity Learn. You will find everything there. You will. We are definitely launching something for 2023 as well. So it's ammonia in fishes. So this is uh, your answer. The hormone that plays a very important role in the regulation of the sleep-wake cycle in our body. Again, a straight, simple NCRT question, which is melatonin. Melatonin is the hormone that is involved in our sleep-wake cycle, the 24-hour biological clock, the circadian rhythm. All these is something that's because of the melatonin. You will have to sleep on time and wake up early for this reason. Keeps you active, right? Follow the rhythm, especially for need. Have a sound sleep. Take care of yourselves. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of you are giving to the Spradhana also has come up with too. That's excellent, excellent answer. Enterokinase is secreted by the intestinal mucosa. Intestinal mucosa is what is secreting enterokinase. Again, a straight, simple statement from your NCRT text. Right, crypts of Liberkin, which are what are responsible for it. Let me erase that. Inbreeding is necessary if we want to evolve a pure line in any animal because it increases the homozygosity. To obtain pure lines, we need to go with inbreeding. Inbreeding is basically between the related animals, which are related at least for four to six generation this elimination of recessive ones yeah, the, the superior breed that's developed yeah eventually because of overly inbreeding there's a problem of inbreeding depressions one that's right all of you got it right already prathana sindush lakshmi all of you kalyan uh, all of you are doing great uh, keep up the rhythm with your actual neat examination as well which of the following prevents the conception by preventing the physical meeting of the sperm and ovum? The sperm and ovum are physically prevented from meeting. That will be a barrier method which is Nirodh. Nirodh is a popular condom brand name, right? That you are aware of which is physically preventing. Norplant is an implant. Lippies loop is a non-medicated IUD. Saheli is an oral contraceptive. So physical meeting is prevented basically by a condom like Nirodh. Four, 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 right? Surya, La, Lakshya, all of you are getting it right. Uh, Parimala, excellent, excellent children. Keep it up. Great kiddos, great going. Thorns of Bougainvillea and tendrils of cucurbita have. So basically we're talking about homologous organs here. So homologous organs, they are similar in origin and but perform a different function. So it's basically two similar in origin. It's the stem modification arising from the axillary bud. But when it comes to the help, uh, uh, function, you know, thorns are basically helping with defense. Um, you know, not much of water uh, is transpired. And then we have the tendrils, which are for the support of the vein, right? So, two, 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 a lot of uh, Tharani, Kalyan. Uh, all of you are getting it right, Prathana again. Uh, Kalyan, excellent, excellent, kiddos. Keep it up. Match the following. Again, as I tell you, please don't draw those, you know, wave-like lines. You may get confused during the examination. You know, keep it simple. Homo neanderthalensis A. That will be the one. Neanderthal man, basically, burial rituals. They are helping 
they are the ones who have performed burial ritual they have buried their dead then homo habilis is a tool maker he was the handyman that's why the name homo habilis homo sapiens he was the one who started agriculture he was the one 10000 years ago agriculture started homo erectus he is the java man which is two so our answer is three one four two where do we have that that will be three again vaishnavi uh, you got it right dear kalyan uh, madhusudan a lot of you guys are participating you know quite interesting that so many of you are interacting and coming up with the right answers that's great great going so uh Let's go ahead. The cells in the bipolar cell layer of the retina carry electrical signals from photoreceptor cells to ganglion cells. You would have answered this question many a times in terms of the sequence. Here it is given in a slightly different manner where they are asking about the cells in the bipolar carry signal from where to where. They are the ones which are carrying from photoreceptors to ganglion cells which in turn form the optic nerve yes yes excellent and Naveen to Vaishnavi to Sindush Kalyan all of you are doing great Tarini yes uh, you they are basically carrying the signal from photoreceptor to the ganglion cells right carbonic acid dissociates into carbon dioxide and water in the first of all Carbon dioxide is something that is making its entry into the RBC at the tissues where the PCO2 is high. Now, where is it supposed to dissociate? We need to expire at the alveolar site. Obviously, the PCO2 has to be low. So, alveolar site where the PCO2 is low, right? So, this is our answer. And then, a healthy woman has a regular 28-day menstrual cycle. But her husband has a low sperm count the best timing for IUI let's understand IUI is intra uterine insemination for this women would be when we're trying to uh, you know uh, if, for going for intra uterine insemination you know putting in the sperm understand the sperm can live for up to three days but it's ovum which has a lifespan of very short time period 24 hours so ovulation best time it's happening in the woman is uh, you know the LH surge is taking place ovulation is taking place so which are the days we are looking at it's day 12 and 14 so this is one answer I see some of you faltering okay you're trying to give me answers three and day five that will be the menstrual day dear that was not it the question may sound a little complicated but try and understand it it's very very simple around the time of ovulation is when we are supposed to perform the technique of IUIs for the best chances of the conception or the fertilization to be taking place right so this is the one uh, answer and then we move on to myasthenia gravis occurs because first of all have an understanding that it's a autoimmune disorder and what happens in the autoimmune disorders it's antibodies are attacking self antigens exaggerated immune responses is when we are talking about allergy immunodeficiency we're talking about AIDS or ACID and metastasis is something that's related to the cancer right so understanding of myasthenia gravis being an autoimmune disorder there you go 10% you are getting the correct answer right so next we move on to incomplete double blood circulation again when you look at the question try and analyze in your mind incomplete double circulation where do we observe this that will be in the amphibians and the reptile so we are looking for those there when we are talking about labio and salamandra that would be pisces right rana and hemidactylus both are amphibians pavo is a bird peacock and then we also have pristis which is a fish right so rana and hemidactylus which is an amphibian and a reptile that's where we'll find incomplete double circulation they have a three chambered heart although reptiles there is an 
incompletely divided ventricle although septa starts. So, that is where we will find incomplete double circulation. Complete double will be in the birds, aves as well as in the mammals, right. Single circulation when it comes to the pisces like the labio or uh, you know the pristis, the shark that we are talking about. Select the correct set of proteolytic enzymes. So, we are looking at those enzymes which are acting on proteins, right. So, pepsin which is present in our stomach, uh, you know the trypsin which is the intestine, then renin again which is also present in the infant stomach, these are all acting on the proteins. Why are we eliminating the other options? Tylen, it is an amylase, right and then maltase, sucrase, lactase and then we also have lipase here, lipase you directly know it is acting on the breakdown of fats. So, we have a straight fourth option, again excellent Naveen, Kalyan, all of you have come up with the right answer, excellent kiddos, keep it up. A fall in the blood calcium level stimulate the release of, previously itself I gave away this answer, calcium homeostasis is maintained by TCT and PTH, right, so parath hormone. This is the one that is coming into the picture when there is a fall in blood calcium level. This is trying to you know bring up the calcium levels in very many different ways. Absorption from the intestine and again resorption from the bones ok. So, the, in different ways where the calcium levels are being increased in the blood. They are again decreased when it comes to the TCT. GFR in a healthy individual is approximately an excellent, excellent easy question if you pay attention. Basically, we know GFR what comes to your mind immediately 125 ml per minute. Do we see that answer? The paper setter has very, very cleverly uh, not given that option so that you are not misled. So, 125 into 60 because it is per minute that will be about 7.5 liters per hour. Yes, Kalyan, you got it right. It is 7.5. Yes, rest of you are giving option 2. That is fine. Pradhana, please pay attention, dear. We are going to be here talking about basically 125 ml per minute. We are multiplying it with the 60 seconds in a minute. Which one of the following best represents the traffic? efficiency of an ecosystem. If you are talking about trophic efficiency in an ecosystem, which other than the pyramid of energy represents it is the best? It is the pyramid of energy. Remember the 10 percent rule how and also how the pyramid of energy is always upright. So, trophic efficiency is best represented pyramid of energy. Yes, all of you got it right again. Excellent kiddos. Which of the following types of joints allow considerable movements and therefore play a significant role in the locomotion? Synovial joints, you know synovial joints are the ones which are helping with the movement, the greatest fibrous does not allow any kind of movement like in between your cranial plates forming those sutures, cartilaginous joints and synarthrosis very slight movement. It is the synovial joints whether we are talking about your ball and socket or the elbow joints, all these are the synovial joints. Biochemical oxygen demand is a measure of BOD. What are we measuring with BOD? It is the water pollution caused by organic matter. Here you are thinking in between inorganic, organic, pay slight attention, you know it is the organic matter. More is the BOD, higher is the pollution in waters, right. So, this is something that is inversely proportional. Branchial respiration, understand this word first of all, branchial is respiration through the gills. So, where are we seeing that kind of a thing? Balanoptera, it is a mammal whale through lungs, Bangaris which is a snake, Bombyx which is an insect and Balanoglossus or the one which is belonging to 
hemichordata that is our answer through the gills it's not the mammals or the reptiles which are through the lungs or the insects in arthropods which have the tracheal system it's our balanoglossus which is the answer which of the following is not common to psychon uh, so again pay attention to this not common to psychon euspongia spongilla first of all let's understand they all belong to phylum porifera so absence of tissues yes they are all cellular grade of organization internal fertilization yes indirect development yes this parenchymula then marine habitat you see a fresh water sponge there the spongilla the rest belong to marine so which is not common will be the marine habitat three is your answer yes taruni shashi uh, also joined excellent excellent uh, shashi and you have come up with the right answer as well cornell's field experiment on barnacles illustrated the phenomenon of competitive release exclusion will be gauss's principle here it is mentioned cornels so what are we looking at here it's the you know when a superior species is removed the inferior one which is usually confining itself to a smaller region is expanding its zone its habitat right that's what happens it's the competitive release you have these ex examples of balanus which is the superior one and thymalis right the barnacles which is an experiment performed by cornell and then about 50% of the lymphoid tissue in the human body is located straight simple malt mucosa associated lymphoid tissues yes we have the secondary lymphoid organs spleen lymph nodes tonsils but most of it is associated with our mucosa the innermost layer of the gastrointestinal tract most of these microbes that are entering into our bodies through the food that we eat our body has an excellent mechanism to protect ourselves mucosa is where it is associated with most of the lymphoid tissue i know all of you are getting it right one without seeing the screen i can say that all of you got this right which of the following is an example of ex situ conservation of biodiversity let's understand this word ex situ which is outside its natural habitat right so when it is outside of the natural habitat we are talking about the seed bank right seed bank is where uh, you know it uh, the organisms are protected outside of the natural habitat sacred groves national parks wildlife sanctuaries are all coming under in situ conservation yes it is in situ conservation and then sex linked recessive traits are typically transmitted from again a very nice question put forth phrased in a very nice manner for you it is a carrier female to half her sons carrier female would have this uh, you know allele on one of the eggs you know the sons half of them inherit that eggs another normal obviously half her sons will be affected an x chromosome to a male child has to be from the mother right so one is our answer again all of you are giving it right excellent kiddos motor vehicles are equipped with catalytic converters should use leaded petrol now i know it's student psychology most of you get scared when you see an assertion reason please read it with utmost care you are there you can find the answer there's nothing that's stopping you from getting that white coat right motor vehicles equipped with catalytic converters should use unleaded petrol so that's where that's wrong lead in the petrol activates no it is basically deactivating the catalyst catalyst is something that's uh, you know not acting in presence of the lead so both of these statements are wrong it's the fourth statement i know when you see the assertion reasoning you know you uh, get a little jittery and not think right please stay calm breathe in and read the statements you will be there you will get it right prarthana just uh, you know read it with more calm mind the blood levels of fsh and lh straight in crt when does the lh surge take place just before the ovulation right and you have the answer there just before 
ovulation i am pretty sure all of you are getting it shashi told s1 s2 are wrong i know you are talking about the previous question dear you got that right over exploitation led to the extinction of passenger pigeon and stellar sea cow again a straight ncrt line where we are talking about over exploitation and you can rule out the other options also very easily there we have water hyacinth carrot grass african catfish basically are the aliens which are you know invading and causing a threat to the native indigenous species right and then we have a match the following quite easy for you to crack this fragmentation you know you're talking about breaking of detritus which is three and then we are talking about leaching which is the water soluble inorganic ones going down catabolism fungal enzymes which is four humification formation of dark amorphous substance which is three two four one and where do we have that in the very first option all of you cracked it already that's right faster than me keep it up the type of epithelium that lines bronchioles first of all let's understand bronchioles are lined by columnar epithelium with the cilia right so that is again found in fallopian tubes which are helping with the transport of ovum alveoli squamous epithelium or oral cavity non keratinized squamous com uh, compound epithelium thyroid vesicles it will be cuboidal epithelium it's the fallopian tubes right fallopian tubes shashi got it right already ananya you got it right excellent the following are the steps involved in the cross bridge cycle as per sliding filament theory so sliding filament theory is something that is a tough nut most of you but pay attention that is going to be easier let's start with the hydrolysis of atp after hydrolysis there is a formation of the cross bridge and then we have the sliding of the thin filaments and then there is a release of adp and then we have the binding of atp to myosin head which leads to eventually the breakage of cross bridge which is daf bec that is third option you know it takes a little time but try and put that cycle there you are going to get that answer right select the incorrect statement please mind that word again very small mammals are rarely found in polar regions yet larger surface area compared to volume all plants are stenothermal no there are urethermal ones as well like the roses jasmines or shoka trees for example these are all urethermal sustain in wide range of temperatures most animals are confirmers yes animals plants only few organisms are urethermal again a straight in crt question right and then we have radula where do we find radula grasping organ mollusca that will be pila metagenesis alteration of generation between the medusa and polyp forms tenoplana we have the nidaria there parapodia lateral appendages which help in the swimming in aquatic annelids nerus we have that there sorry about that then cumplates which are present in uh, the uh, tenoplana right so metagenesis sorry that will be obelia for i'm sorry about that and cumplates will be found in the tenoplana which is te tenophora obelia nidaria that's where we have the metagenesis 2413 that will be 4 right and then the most species rich taxonomic group in the plant kingdom recall that pie chart pie diagram we have in the biodiversity chapter most of it you will find will be the angiosperms right and of course the fungi on the other hand we also have the lichens mosses for all those on the other hand so most of it will be the angiosperms those are the ones which are quite dominant presently in the species rich taxonomic group in the plant kingdom in the uh, chapter you can see that so that's it from me as far as zoology is concerned all the very best to you guys uh, 
all you guys should crack neat and that white coat and stealth should be yours i wish for that half heartfully so here i go with a very positive note see you on sunday with the live solutions we'll be the fastest ones to deliver stay tuned to infinity learn thank you all Hello. Hi friends, we will discuss the chemistry solutions. You have done a great job. On Sunday, you can also catch us live. I am just telling you, you have done good job. So let us discuss the chemistry solutions without any lag. Work function of the metal is 4 electron volts. You have the concept of photoelectric effect. When the incident ray falls on a metal, it ejects the electrons. What is the condition we have here? Incident energy is equal to what you have threshold energy, which is nothing but work function plus kinetic energy. So therefore here work function of the metal is given that is what you can say threshold energy, which is also what you can say work function. Incident energy is given in the form of what you can say wavelength value. So therefore incident energy you can calculate here. This is E is equal to what you can say hc by lambda substitute the value <coughs> whereas threshold energy work function is given in electron volts if you are substituting the values of Planck's constant and velocity in what you can say meters you are going to get this value in meters here is a little bit meticulous calculation you have to do in this case 6.625 in 10 power of minus 34 into 3 into 10 power of 8 this first question has do have what you can say meticulous calculation this is 9 if you just see this multiplied value of these two, 3 into 6.625, it comes around 19.8. Now that is a key issue, remaining what you can say powers, you are smart enough to calculate. So 19 point what you can say 8 by 2, remaining powers, you can what you can say understand and uh, you can get the solution. Let us see the next one. Significant figures, you know that preceding zeros are what you can say always insignificant. In the case of this one, you have what you can say two numbers, all preceding zeros will be what you can say insignificant. Succeeding zeros become significant if you have the decimal point. So in this case, there are only two significant figures, preceding zeros will not come into what you can say consideration. Next. NaOH exhibits disproportionation reaction. This is a general reaction NaOH. It shows what you can say disproportionation with chlorine. It shows with bromine, it shows with iodine, it shows with sulphur, it shows with phosphorus. So in this list you have the chlorine. Aluminium with NaOH, it is a metal what you can say, alkali reaction. Amphoteric metals, beryllium, aluminium, zinc, they all known to react with what you can say alkalis. You have what you can say HCl NaOH is a simple neutralization. H2SO4 NaOH is simple neutralization. Even if you are not aware of chlorine reaction with NaOH, still you can answer this. Because you know amphoteric metal reaction with NaOH, HCl H2SO4 is a mere neutralization reaction. So chlorine reaction with what you can say NaOH, we have two conditions. One is in the case of what you can say cold condition, you will get what you can say NaCl, NaC, NaClO. Here you have what you can say zero here, this proportion, this minus and plus. If it is hot condition, remember this reaction it is in hot condition, then it is NaClO3 and NaCl. So just I am telling you this condition which is given as a reference. So it has to be chlorine. Next. CO is highly poisonous. Now this is simple theory condition. We have what you can say artificial respiration concept we have discussed. 
its acyl fixation whenever carbon monoxide combines with hemoglobin its combining capacity is very strong when compared to oxygen it has nearly 300 times more combining capacity with hemoglobin when compared to oxygen that's why most of people whenever there is a fire accidents because of the partial combustion the carbon monoxide generated combines with hemoglobin to form carboxyhemoglobin it's more stronger bonding than oxyhemoglobin therefore CO forming less stable complex is incorrect and CO is poisonous is a correct condition this you have to remember based on Bohr's theory when n value increases there are so many what you can say conditions which can be evaluated based on both postulates velocity total energy potential energy kinetic energy angular momentum so many aspects we have to what you can say understand let us have a small discussion on this one first one velocity of electron increases or decreases how do you justify when an electron is moving in the first orbit it is in the strong attraction of the nucleus if it doesn't revolve for what you can say fast then there is a chance that it can be grabbed by the nucleus so therefore what happens its rotation will be very fast as electron is moving away its tendency to be grabbed by the nucleus will be less therefore it will be moving what you can say slowly so as the n value increases velocity will decrease so how velocity is related to what you can say principal quantum number it is 1 by n is it clear as n value increases velocity decreases total energy of electron what you can say increases we have let us say any what you can say values you take units first what you can say orbit it is 13.6 electron volts minus 3.4 this will be more convenient if you remember otherwise you can also calculate but that will be time consuming as electron goes to what you can say away it has what you can say almost at this position where it is infinity we call it as where the value is 0 so from minus 13.6 to 0 there is an increase in what you can say total energy so total energy increases with respect to what you can say n value radial distance between successive orbits decreases you should not have what you can say any confusion between energy differences between orbits and radius difference between orbits when you draw the diagram with the reference to energy differences energy differences between successive orbits keep on decreasing you see this will be the condition of energy and after 6 and 7 they almost what you can say in fused form the first two what you can say have a maximum energy difference so successive energy difference between the orbits as electron moves away from the nucleus will be keep on decreasing so therefore energy difference between successive orbits decreases contrary radial what you can say how do you understand the radial i am drawing this diagram it's not mentioned in general so what you see here this will be what you can say increasing how do you take that value you know that r is equal to 0.59 what you can say into so therefore as the n value increases the radius value increases so therefore successive difference between the radius will be increasing dihedral angle of least stable conformer of ethane ethane aapko pata hai ethane se conformation isomer start hoga kyunki cc double bond chahiye methane pe nahi hai because there is no cc what you can say bonding in the case of methane you have sawhorse presentations in the case of ethane you can also have newman's projection in the case of sawhorse to newman projections there is what you can say transformation this front carbon what you can say will be represented what you can say like this and rare carbon will be represented in this format you see this hydrogens whenever what you can see you have the hydrogens here from the viewer point of view now you see the viewer point of view if you see this hydrogen if this rare hydrogen is not visible then it is called as an eclipse form where the bonds are relatively closest so therefore this hydrogen which is not visible will be slightly peeping outside okay so it is not visible so i cannot just say that we are not writing so here what happens is it's peeping outside to tell you that it's behind so whenever the bonds are closest they definitely have the repulsions so this is the least stable what you can say conformer of ethane the another form where it has what you can say least repulsions is when it moves what you can say around 60 degrees where you will get what you can say staggered form you see now, now like this this is a staggered form where they are away from what you can say each other by 60 degrees so clearly the repulsions what you can say reduce and the stable form whereas it is having repulsions radioactive isotope hydrogen emits now this is very clear you know that radioactive hydrogen is nothing but tritium tritium what is the logic here 
that this has two neutrons and one proton. You are all physics students, you know that n by p ratio is very minor for stability. Ke liye. n by p ratio, if it is lower than 1, they are instable. If it is more than 1.56, it is unstable. So here n by p ratio is 2. Come on now, it's more unstable here. So therefore, neutron tends to convert into proton. So in this aspect, neutron converts into proton. It emits what you can say beta particle. Therefore, the proton and electron, positive and negative, this is neutral. It's properly justified. Yes, yeah, ye pata hai. It's a simple one. Now, some of this, what you can say, as you can understand that in the case of uh, the questions also, you should always see out of 50 questions, I told you 30, 35 questions can be answered by everybody. So there is no need to panic and just see the questions properly. PCL5, you know the structural aspect of PCL5, trigonal, what you can say, bipyramidal, this is the condition. SF6, it is octahedral, this is octahedral, square bipyramidal. BRF5, this is what you can say, BRF5, you have what you can say, square pyramidal and BF3 is trigonal planar. PCL5, SF6, BR, what you can say, BF3 are very common structures. When it comes to BRF5, it has square pyramidal where you have the condition like this, you just see. This is square pyramidal. You have one florin above. Four florins are in the form of what you can say, square pattern. Still, it has one lone pair which will be beneath. Next. Decomposition of plus 2 nitrates, they are all known to give what you can say, NO2 gas. In this particular case, he is asking the displacement. So, this is a decomposition because of substance on heating converting into what you can say products. Second one, KClO3, that is also decomposition. You are getting what you can say products. Third one, aluminum being more electropositive than chromium, it is actually substituting. The single displacement you are seeing here. So, aluminum is displacing chromium from this. He is asking what you can say in this case, metal displacement. It is very clear that this is the only reaction where metal is getting displaced. So, koi panic hona nahi hai. Many of the questions will be very simple unless you spoil it. So, please remember this type of questions will be around 30, 35. The key issue is how you balance your what you can say the aspects with the remaining 15 questions. It can be anywhere in section A or section B. <coughs> Major product form in dehydrohalogenation of 2 bromopentane. 2 bromopentane, now you have what you can say logic here. It's dehydrohalogenation. Aapko pata hai dehydrohalogenation kya hai? Removal of hydrogen and halogen. We can use alcoholic KOH, we can use sodamide, any of this. Whenever you are removing halogen, we should see the neighboring positions. We have the hydrogen here, we have hydrogen here, we also have hydrogen here. But what is the difference is in this case it has three hydrogens, here you have two hydrogens. So it is less what you can say beta hydrogens. It is more beta hydrogens. Agar less beta hydrogen se hydrogen nikaloge, then the double bond is obtained at such a position where it becomes more substituted. Iska naam hai Setajev's rule. More substituted alkene is more stable. It has more hyperconjugative structures. Its stability is more. If you remove hydrogen from more what you can say beta hydrogens, that is also one of the product is obtained. We cannot deny that. It's a minor product in this particular case. Here this will be what you can say less substituted. With respect to double bond, this entire thing is a single substituent. With respect to this double bond, there are two substituents. So, set of rule, what you can say, it justifies two pentene formation. The compound which shows metamerism, metamerism is always shown by such class of compounds which are having what you can say, variation of alkyl groups on a polyvalent functional groups. Polyvalent functional groups, you have ethers, you have what you can say, prime, uh, secondary amines, you have what you can say tertiary amines, we can show in the case of what you can say esters, very prominently we can show, they are polyvalent where you can show the variation of alkyl groups on either sides. In this case we can straight away rule out, this is C5H12, it does not have any functional group, so it does not show. C3H8O, this is what you can say having ether and alcohol possible, how do you justify CnH2n plus 2O. Aapko ye pata hona chahiye, uh, alcohols or ethers will obey an empirical formula which is alkene type of system with oxygen. And whenever it is alkene type of system, CnH2NO, this class becomes what? Aldehydes and ketones. 
small mnemonics you have to what you can say, keep in your mind alkene plus oxygen it is aldehyde and ketone alkane plus oxygen it is alcohol and ether because a single oxygen confuse hona nahi hai alkane plus oxygen is alcohol ether alkene plus oxygen is aldehyde ketone other members are also possible but i'm just saying in the case of c3h8 ether c o c c here if you even if you shuffle one carbon this side there is no chance of different what you can say alkyl groups representation so it has to be c4h10o where alcohols and ethers are possible but ethers alone will show metamerism in this case you see there is variation of this alkyl group attached to the functional group use hi metamerism kehte hain theek hai next zirconium and hafnium now you must be sick of what you can seeing this this question no sooner you see you will understand there is a strong what you can say condition that is due to lanthanide contraction lanthanum to what you can say hafnium there is a drastic decrease in size what is the reason 4f orbitals have a poor shielding effect what is the reason for that f orbitals are more diffuse it has more nodal planes so due to which what happens in the case of what you can say hafnium and zirconium they happen to have same size which is due to lanthanide contraction lanthanide contraction is due to poor shielding of 4f poor shielding of 4f is due to due to more number of nodal planes aapko pata hai f mein zyada nodal planes honge aur s mein zero honge theek hai next bf3 is planar and electron deficient compound hybridization hybridization can be done in many ways you can have what you can say g plus what you can say g minus v by 2 a plus g minus v by 2 number of atoms attached bf3 mein kitne atoms attached this is 3 group number of what you can say boron in this case what you can say here group number is what you can say 3 valence is also 3 three halogens pade hue there so number of what you can say this becomes zero and three means you write s then p still how many are left out two so you have to write it as sp2 pata hai but in case any student doesn't know this part i'm just explaining number of electrons around it iska structure kya hai bf3 three bond pairs there is no lone pair as it belongs to third group so three bond pair constitute six electrons theek hai <coughs> among the following alkaline earth metals metal halides the one which is covalent and soluble in organic solvents covalent character and ionic character has been always a reference from the fajans rule fajans rule says smaller the size of cation it has more influence on what against anion in this case the cation part is changing but anion part is what against the same be plus 2 since it is small size the cation is very close to what against a larger anion cl minus which will get distorted and it can undergo what against overlapping but if you take what you can say larger one like strontium strontium size is large enough and also chlorine size the nucleus of each one of them are farther from their influence zones so therefore cl minus does not get distorted does not get polarized so therefore strontium cannot influence cl minus to polarize and form covalent bond whereas beryllium plus 2 can so therefore fajans rule will guide you which will be covalent आइसोइलेक्ट्रॉनिक पेयर कम से कम आता अटोमिक नंबर तो पता है हम सबको अटोमिक नंबर बट डोंट रश बिकॉज यू नीड टू जस्ट सी समटाइम्स यू टेंड टू डू मिस्टेक्स इन द इजी क्वेश्चन लेटर यू रियलाइज दैट यू हैव डन अ ग्रेव मिस्टेक सो डोंट रश फॉर व्हाट इगेंस एनी इजी क्वेश्चन आंसर इट व्हाट इगेंस केयरफुली आयरन दिस इज 26 इट इज इन प्लस 2 फॉर्म यू राइट इट एज 24 टेक व्हाट इगेंस अ कंडीशन दिस इज मैंगनीज मैंगनीज इज व्हाट इगेंस अ 25 Plus two, it is what you can say twenty-three. It is not an isoelectronic pair. You have what you can say in this case, O minus two F minus. So this is what you can say eight plus two and nine plus one. Of course, this is the simplest one. Na plus and Mg plus two. These are all what you can say known examples. And Mn plus two Fe plus three. If you just check, Mn plus two. We have already written this is twenty-three. And Fe plus three. Here we have to remove one electron. so this is also having 23 so the first one is not an isoelectronic pair which one will show muta rotation this uh, in what you can say corrected form you also have reducing sugar i can have the presentation what you can say in the form of reducing sugar or muta rotation in different papers we have given what you can say different condition 
Reducing sugar is all those sugars where you have what you can say free aldehyde group or you have what you can say any of the disaccharides which are having what you can say hemiastal which is at the C1 position. So hemiastal what you can say at C1 position and what you can say aldehyde group here justifies that it will act as what you can say reducing sugar. Cellulose is a polysaccharide, cellulose starch they are polysaccharides they do not have their C1 members what you can say free they are involved what you can say in the formation of glycosidic linkages that is also an ether linkage. So these members does not have their C1OH free so they are neither what you can say show mutar rotation nor they are reducing sugars. Maltose is a member which has a free aldehyde group so therefore maltose what you can say is the one which can show mutar rotation or maltose is a reducing sugar. Sucrose is also a combination of what you can say fructose and glucose which also lose its uh, hemiastal OH. So sucrose is not a reducing sugar, mutar rotation reducing sugar anything can be asked reducing sugar is also given. Now this is again the structural part but this is now in terms of what you can say noble gases. XCF4 we have square pyramidal condition, XCF6 we have distorted what you can say octahedral, XCOF4 you have what you can say in this case it is uh, you have what you can say XCO3 is pyramidal and XCF4 is square planar, XCO4 in this case is square pyramidal ok. I will just write the structural part ok. This is XC, this is square planar, now this is like this. I will change this condition XCF4 to XCOF4, I have to keep what you can say like this. So this becomes what you can say square pyramidal, in this case there is what you can say slight uh, condition varies. XCF4 is square planar, XCF6 is distorted octahedral, this is square pyramidal and this is what you can say pyramidal. XCO3 most of the time they have given isostructural conditions, it is similar to what you can say ammonia based on the sigma morning part. Which of the following is an analogic? Analgesic is one which will what you can say reduce the pains. Streptomycin, chloromycetine, they are antibiotics. Penicillin is also what you can say an antibiotic. Aspirin is the one which is what you can say analgesic. It will reduce what you can say pain. We use that as painkiller. So it is a direct one, you know, what you can say specific thing to discuss in this. Reaction of phenol with chloroform in presence of dilute NaOH. Now this is uh, establishment of CC bond. In many reactions they ask in which organic reaction there is a formation of CC bond. In that context we have to remember phenol what you can say reacting with chloroform. It is an important named reaction. You all have idea about this but there are two specific cases to be remembered in this. Whenever it is chloroform and NaOH reacting with phenol this what you can say establish the bond formation with uh, this carbon due to which there is a new bond formation. So you have to understand there is a typical of course you have mechanism and everything there is a new CC bond formation. When you take chloroform this will end up with what you can say an aldehyde. If you change this with CCl4 and NaOH what you can say now this will be acid. So in this particular case since he is asking chloroform this is salicylic acid ortho salicylic acid known for intramocular hydrogen bonding. Now in this particular case it is ortho aldehyde. So this is nothing but what reaction? Reamer Tiemann reaction ok. We have dichlorocarbene intermediate you also have mechanism but right now it does not require to that extent. Aqueous solution of sodium sulphate. Now whenever he says aqueous solution we need to take what you can say components which are present in what you can say water. So here there is a competition between Na plus and what you can say H plus and there is a competition between what you can say OH minus and sulphate. These are the ions obtained from the salt. These are present what you can say in the water form. So here what you have to understand H plus has more reduction potential than Na plus. It has lower discharge potential. You can also say water has lower discharge potential than Na plus. All those which are present above hydrogen in electrochemical series they are known to what you can say liberate hydrogen gas. Why they are known to liberate hydrogen gas? Because the reduction potential of this member is higher than this. So whenever electrons are present eventually H plus will reduce first to give what you can say H2 gas. And there is an oxidation potential H2 will have more oxidation potential in the form of OH minus I am explaining here more than sulphate whenever it oxidizes 
it will liberate what you can say oxygen gas these are the important byproducts but now what you need to understand that h plus is undergoing the change oh minus is undergoing change but there is no change of sodium and sulfate this is a salt of strong acid and strong base you know salt of strong acid and strong base is always neutral solution because there is no salt hydrolysis also so therefore ph will re what you can say remain unaltered there won't be any change which of the following is not peroxy acid now this is somewhat tricky like many of the times we get carried away because we insist also peroxy means there is a peroxide bond chromium peroxide per titanic acid we have peroxy monosulfuric acid peroxy disulfuric acid so we keep on saying that peroxy is because of the peroxy bond but here the trick only in this case is the name part perchloric acid is one where it is having excess of oxygen in that context it is mentioned perchloric acid where it does not have the peroxy linkage per phosphoric acid is nothing but what phosphoric acid normal phosphoric acid form with one oxygen more here so it is peroxy phosphoric acid per nitric acid nitric acid kya hai hno3 per means ek oxygen zyada hai isme to hno4 ho jayega idhar ek peroxy linkage pada hua hai per disulfuric acid per disulfuric acid it's like what you can see in the case of this one you have peroxy linkage here this is double bond o it's oh you also have this is other name that is marshall acid so all of them have peroxy linkage this is an exception to pata to hona chahiye okay that's right so some of them are also given in the context that in case you missed earlier you can also cover here most volatile hydride now hydride's volatility what you can say is based on its boiling point boiling point will be influenced by the attractions if you see fourth group fifth group sixth group seventh group hydrates have a marked difference in their what you can say boiling points because of hydrogen bonding seen in the case of fifth group sixth group and seventh group not in the fourth group just for comparison sake i'm just saying fourth group methane sih4 germanium tin it is what you can say very clear boiling point of hydrates is keep on increasing but when it comes to what you can say ammonia then from ammonia to phosphine decreases then you will have what you can say like this <coughs> sorry now why there is what you can say plunge here because ammonia has hydrogen bonding if you take in the case of sixth group and seventh group there is what you can say h2o here decreasing to h2s and in fact h2o is found to be highest in this what you can say therefore least will be what you can say h2s why because this has hydrogen bonding this does not have hydrogen bonding this exists as liquid if this exists as gas so the least boiling and highly volatile hydride of the sixth group will be h2s and seventh group will be what hcl but uh, in same comparison ammonia is not found to be the highest in the case of fifth group you remember that half life is related with an equation in this type of question luckily he has also given equation to you so here whenever you want to take the relationship you remove this what you can say equality and constant this is a constant k value this constant and equality if i remove then i'll get the proportionality so in this case what you are getting half life period is directly proportional to initial concentration there is a generalization for half life what is that t half is what you can say a to the power n minus 1 this will give you an idea about variation of the order of the reaction comparing with respect to half life period and initial concentration agar maan ke chalo isme zero order reaction hai this is a to the power 0 minus 1 denominator mein a minus 1 hai to numerator mein jayega to this is becomes t half what against is directly proportional to a this will be what against like this of course in this particular case it is a to the power minus 1 this is minus 1 so this is a zero order reaction here this is a zero order reaction in this particular case this is a zero order reaction second one i am going to the second one that is in the case of first order reaction in the case of first order reaction this is 1 minus 1 this becomes 0 so therefore t half does not have any dependence on the initial concentration then what is the order of the reaction it is a first order reaction second order it is 2 minus 1 then it is what you can say here it is 1 by a so once it becomes what you can say goes to numerator then what you will write t half is directly proportional to a to the power minus 1 so in the case of this one this matches with which order it is second order okay next 
Consider the reaction acetaldehyde with sodium bisulfite. Bisulfite reaction, HCN reaction, these are all characteristic for nucleophilic addition. In this particular case, you will get what you can say crystalline derivative. Any aldehyde members, what you can say, or ketone members generally tend to show this reaction. But what happens is in the case of ketone, as the bulkiness around this CH3, this carbonyl functional group increases, it uh, does not react with what you can say sodium bisulfide. That also you remember. Okay. Now what happens here? You have what you can say addition reaction occurring here. This is CH3. From sp2, it becomes what you can say sp3. This is you are getting what you can say SO3H. This is SO3Na, and this is what you can say OH. You are getting what you can say optical activity also. This is a white crystalline derivative. This is a crystalline salt form. It has solubility, so it is in what you can say soluble form. So here is given insoluble form that is incorrect. Crystalline form is said product is yes. Equilibrium favored in for product formation yes because the reactivity is seen. There is no steric factor involved like in higher ketones. The product formed when treated with dilute HCl gives pure acetaldehyde. Now what does it mean? If I treat this what you can say with pure HCl, pure HCl, then I'll get what you can say acetaldehyde back. What is the step useful for? This step will be useful for separation of aldehyde from alcohol. If I have what you can say ethanol and ethanol present what you can say in a mixture, then I treat with what you can say bisulfite. Acetaldehyde gets separated from the alcohol and forms a derivative. Once it forms derivative, you filter it, alcohol rushes down, derivative will remain there. So therefore, once you treat with HCl, you will again get back your acetaldehyde. So this reaction is useful for what you can say isolation also when you compare with other members. Platinum, what you can say chloride with uh, ammonia. Ammonia, what you can say, constitute a complex formation with platinum. Platinum in plus 4 condition has a tendency to show coordination number 6. So here what you will see the complex form. Platinum is combining with what you can say, ammonia, which constitute the coordination number 4 here. To satisfy, kitna chahi abhi aur? Char aur do chahi hai. To char chlorine mein se do chlorine andar a jayega. Matlab kya? Coordination sphere mein a jayega. And one chlorine, what you get, two chlorines will be outside, which will be acting as a counter ions. Now, whenever you dissociate any complex, the coordination sphere is the one which does not dissociate to give ions, whereas counter ions are known to give ions. So, you will get two free Cl minus in this case. And if you treat with AgNO3, you will definitely get what you can say two moles of AgCl. Sometimes they ask you in terms of weight also. What you can say 108 grams and this 35.5 grams based on weight also this question can be given. Of course, in this particular case it is given in the form of moles. Okay? And my colleague will also join you for the next remaining 25 questions. All the best guys. Catch you live on what you can say 17th after the exam will be ready for you. Okay? All the best. Hi everyone, so we will be discussing the remaining questions of chemistry. Let's begin. Which of the following compound is most acidic? So when we compare about the acidic character, I already told you in the previous many tests that you know carboxylic acid has more acidity than phenol. Why? Because the negative charge in the resonance structures is stabilized on two oxygen atoms. But in case of phenoxide ion which we are getting from phenol, it is getting stabilized on only on one oxygen atom. So that is why irrespective of more number of structures in phenol, carboxylic acid wins. Jeet jata hai, to kabhi bhi carboxylic acid or phenol ki acidic character ki baat karenge. 
अगर इलेक्ट्रॉन विड्रॉइंग ग्रुप है तो भी वो बेंजोइक एसिड या फिर कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड को पीछे नहीं छोड़ पाएगा राइट सो हाई एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एंड यू ऑल आर हैप्पी सो बी हैप्पी दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो हियर वी हैव सी ओ एच हियर एंड सी ओ एच हियर ना वॉट इज दिस दिस इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनेटिंग ग्रुप इट इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनेटिंग ग्रुप सो इट विल डिक्रीज द एसिडिक कैरेक्टर सो वॉट विल बी आवर आंसर आर आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर थर्ड दैट इज बेंजोइक एसिड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन के एम एन ओ फोर इन न्यूट्रल मीडियम रिड्यूसिस टू सो देर आर इट इज अ वेरी गुड ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट वी ऑल नो बट इन डिफरेंट मीडियम्स इट गिव्स डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स तो देख लेते हैं न्यूट्रल मीडियम में क्या होगा आई हैव के एम एन ओ फोर सो इन न्यूट्रल मीडियम इट गिवस मी एम एन ओ टू दिस हैपन्स इन न्यूट्रल मीडियम ना वॉट अबाउट एसिडिक मीडियम इन एसिडिक मीडियम वॉट आई गेट आई गेट एम एन टू प्लस कमिंग टू द बेसिक मीडियम इट विल गिव मी वॉट एम एन ओ फोर टू माइनस सो दीज आर डिफरेंट प्रोडक्ट्स विच आर गेटिंग वेन इट इज बिहेविंग एज एन ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट इन डिफरेंट मीडियम्स सो हियर वॉट इज द ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट प्लस टू हियर प्लस फोर एंड हियर इट विल बी प्लस सिक्स सो दे आर आस्किंग अबाउट द न्यूट्रल मीडियम सो वॉट इज द करेक्ट आंसर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर थर्ड सो आर यू ऑल विथ मी यस सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी नीड टू मैच लिस्ट वन विथ लिस्ट लिस्ट टू विच टॉपिक इट इज मेटलर्जी वी नीड टू रिमेंबर द नेम ऑफ द ओर्स सो एस एन ओ टू इज वॉट एस एन ओ टू मैच इज विथ कैसे राइट राइट सो ए शुड मैच विथ वन सो वी कैन एलिमिनेट दिस ऑप्शन नाउ नेक्स्ट दिस क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो केम इन नीट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी दिस इज वॉट इट इज एन ओर ऑफ मेलाकाइट so b should match with third b is matching with third in only one option so it has to be our answer right let us confirm c fifth c is matching with this and what about d d is pyrolusite right it is an agent which is actually responsible for the preparation of kmno4 yes next question so this is our what is this this is ester it is we are reacting ester with dibel h so what will be x and y let us see on the reduction of ester we are getting aldehyde as well as 2 degree alcohol so what will be the product here we will be getting aldehyde ch3 whole twice ch cho and the remaining bit will be secondary alcohol so it will be ch3 whole twice right so this will be 2 degree alcohol and this will be aldehyde so what will be our answer our answer will be option number third yes let's move to the next question now number of pop bonds in p4o10 a very good question or i i can say simple sa question tha kai bar p block se ye question aata hai based on the structure of p4o10 so let me draw the structure of p4o10 so what is happening here we have the pop bonds between each phosphorus now these phosphorus are connected i need to connect the remaining also now this is what p4o6 now i have four more oxygen now we need to find what pop bonds how many pop bonds are there 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so what is the correct answer correct answer is option number 6 i am sure all of you have given this answer correct next least reactive alkyl bromide towards sn1 reaction is now for sn1 reaction what happens we are looking for the stability of carbocation and what is the order of stability the order of stability of carbocation is 3 degree 2 degree 1 degree now what is this tertiary followed by secondary and then followed by primary so if we have a tertiary carbocation the reaction sn1 reaction will be fast here they are asking the reverse least reactive so we need to identify a primary halide now what is this n butyl bromide n butyl bromide is what c 
सी एच टू एन ब्यूटाइल ब्रोमाइड सो वॉट इज दिस इज दिस प्राइमरी हेलाइड यस दिस इज अ प्राइमरी हेलाइड सो इट विल शो लीस्ट रिएक्शन टूवर्ड्स दी एस एन वन मैकेनिज्म सो वॉट इज द करेक्ट आंसर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर वन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन राइट ऑप्शन फॉर द नंबर ऑफ टेट्राहेड्रल एंड ऑक्टाहेड्रल वॉइस एंड हेक्जगनल प्रिमेटिव यूनिट सेल वेन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट टेट्राहेड्रल एंड ऑक्टाहेड्रल यू नो वॉइस इट इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द नंबर ऑफ एटम्स नाउ फॉर टेट्राहेड्रल इट इज टू एन नंबर ऑफ टेट्राहेड्रल वॉइस इट विल बी इक्वल टू टू एन and what about the octahedral voids if i talk about the octahedral voids it will be equal to n now for hexagonal primitive unit cell what is n n is 6 so tetrahedral voids will be what 12 and octahedral voids will be 6 so what is the correct answer the correct answer is option number 1 i hope all you of you are with me motivated for the exam right बिल्कुल खुश खुश रहना है एग्जाम तक एंड गिव योर बेस्ट डू योर बेस्ट गिव योर बेस्ट नाउ द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर द नंबर ऑफ बॉडी सेंटर्ड यूनिट सेल सो बॉडी सेंटर्ड यूनिट सेल इज प्रेजेंट इन थ्री व्हाट इज द आंसर ऑप्शन इज थ्री क्यूबिक टेट्रागनल एंड ऑर्थोरोम्बिक टेट्रागनल एंड ऑर्थोरोम्बिक सो इन दीज crystal lattice we have bcc crystal lattice so what is the correct answer answer is now total 3 next which of the following is not a copolymer a very easy question from polymer i would say copolymer are what they are formed from different monomer units now let us take the example now ptfe what is this teflon it is what is the monomer of teflon monomer of teflon is this right this is the monomer of teflon now it uh, what is happening these bonds are breaking down and it polymerizes to give me what ptfe so answer has to be this correct answer is option number 1 let us talk about other buna s this is formed from 1c butadiene plus styrene pt is you already know bakelite is another copolymer so what is the correct answer correct answer is ptfe very common question right uh, okay rusting of iron can be preventing by coating the iron with zinc what is this process this is known as galvanization this process is known as galvanization we are preventing the rusting of iron by coating it with zinc because zinc is more reactive than iron so it will react with the oxygen and you know uh, iron will be protected so this statement is correct next the srp of zn2 plus is more negative than the srp of fe2 plus so what is the value here the value is minus 0.76 and here minus 0.44 right so the value is more negative for zinc so this is correct so both the statements are correct so what is the option one is the correct answer yes everyone getting it next under isothermal conditions at 300 kelvin a gas is expanded from this to this now what you have to do in numerical keep this thing in mind please write you have pen paper sab kuch hota hai please write what is given temperature is given to us and volume is given so what is v1 v1 is 0.2 liter v2 is 0.65 liter now against a constant external pressure so we are also given the external pressure what is that p external is 4 bar we all know the formula what is the formula for work done work done will be minus p external delta v that is v2 minus v1 so i'll just substitute the values w would be what minus 4 bar into what 0.65 minus 0.2. This will be in liter. So what it will be minus 4 into 0.4. Uh, it will be 0.45 bar liter. 
now we'll multiply with this so it will be what it will be minus 1.8 bar liter the options are in joules so i need to multiply by 100 and the relation is already given wow kitna acha hai relation bhi de diya so kya ho jayega minus 1.8 into 100 joules so what will be the answer answer will be option number 1 sabko samajh mein aaya right chalo next at constant temperature 80% percent ab dissociates into a2 and b2 the equilibrium constant we need to find so this is the reaction which is given to us 2 ab gives us a2 gas plus b2 gas now what is happening 80% percent of dissociation is taking place so what is this this they are telling us ki 80% percent reaction ho chuki hai मतलब अगर मैं नॉर्मल अपने टर्म्स में लिखती हूँ सो दिस विल बी इनिशियल विल बी ए जीरो एंड जीरो दिस विल बी एट टाइम जीरो दिस विल बी एट टाइम जीरो सो व्हाट विल हैपन एट इक्विलिब्रियम सो एट टी इक्विलिब्रियम आई कैन राइट ए माइनस एक्स एंड दिस विल बी एक्स बाय टू एंड एक्स बाय टू राइट ना वॉट इज दिस एक्स इफ x is a a let initial be a x is what 0.8 80% then we can take it as 0.8 80 by 100 so what is this x is 0.8 so let us talk about these what are these ye to moles hue na the volume is not given because yahan par kya aata hai concentration in the expression of equilibrium constant we are writing concentration remember volume agar diya hota to we need to divide it by volume but here it is not given so we'll assume it as 1 so what will be the concentration concentration will be same only a minus x by 1 x by 2 by 1 and x by 2 by 1 so i'll just substitute the values and write the expression so k equilibrium will be what concentration of a2 concentration of b2 divided by concentration of ab and coefficient is there so it has to be square now i'll substitute the values so a2 what is this x by 2 x by 2 means 0.8 by 2 into 0.8 by 2 so it will be 0.4 now a minus x a ab square a minus x is what so suppose a let us take a as 1 right so it will be 0.2 so here 0.2 into 0.2 Solving this, we can get two into two, four. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is option number four. Ma'am, hundred moles given for us in the question paper. Okay, maybe, but here it is this only. So we are, let's say, we are solving this question only. Okay. Next, aqueous solution of which of the following salt has a maximum pH? Now, maximum pH means we must have a basic medium right so let us talk about this nh4cl basic ph will take place jab mere paas kya hoga strong base hoga to hum kya karte hain pata karte hain kisse bana nh4cl ye bana hoga nh4oh plus hcl right so this will be what ye weak hai so this will not be our answer iska ph to kam aayega it will be less than 7 next nano3 it is made up of naoh plus HNO3 both are strong strong acid strong base so what will be the pH pH will be neutral to ye bhi nahi hoga next KCN KCN is made up of KOH plus HCN oh my god so KOH kya hota hai KOH is strong base and this is weak acid so what is the correct answer correct answer is option number 3 right everyone okay so just let me erase this another you know reaction of grignard reagent so what is happening you need to find out the iupac name of the compound which is forming here so let us see acetone is reacting with c2h5mgbr so i have acetone i am reacting it with c2h5mgbr grignard reagent right grignard reagent on reaction with ketones give me what tertiary alcohol i all also told you the trick what is the trick oko oh banao and the ethyl wala part laga do carbonyl carbon pe so kya ho jayega yahan par ye kahan jayega c2h5 yahan a jayega 
and this will be CH3 and this will be OH. Right, this will be the product. This is tertiary alcohol. Now, let us talk about the name. What is the name here? I'll just, ye kya hoga CH2 aur ye kya ho jayega CH3. So, what will be the correct answer? 2 methyl butane to all. Is this what? 1, 2, 3, 4. What will be the longest chain? 1, 2, 3, 4. Here we have 3 carbons in the chain. We can't take this at the longest chain. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? So, what will be the answer? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, at the third position we have methyl. And now, one more thing. Agar aisa kiya to ye to option mein hai nahi. Kya karenge? Numbering galat kar diya. Numbering kaise karenge? Jis se isko minimum number milega. So, we'll start numbering. Yahaan se I'll change the color. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, what is this? 2 methyl propen 2 all. Butane 2 all. Sorry. So, what is the correct answer? Answer is 2 methyl butane 2 all. Kyunki 4 carbon hai na. There are 4 carbons. Generally, bachche yehi mistake kar dete hai. Isko chain leke. And they are marking the wrong answer. Yes, well done. So, what is the correct answer? Option number 1. Next. Choose the correct option for the graphical representation of Boyle's law. So, we know that Boyle's law says what? According to Boyle's law, P is inversely proportional to V. Agar pressure kam karte hai, to volume bar jati hai. Agar volume kam karte hai, to pressure bar jata hai. Right? So, we know that this will not be the answer. Yeh direct relation dikha raha hai, yeh bhi nahi. Now we'll talk about this. Now we have a graph between P and V. So one will increase, the other will decrease. We are talking about different temperatures. Now when I talk about the ideal gas equation, PV is equal to NRT. This is all constant. Hai, so we can say that PV is inversely proportional to, sorry, directly proportional to temperature. Hai ki nahi? Right? Yes, it is a PYQ question. So as the temperature increases, the PV graph will also increase. So, answer kya ho jayega? We can see here, let's say T1, T2, T3. Temperature bad raha hai, to aap graph bhi dekh rahe ho, thoda idhar aata ja raha hai. Right? So, that, this has to be our answer. What is the correct option? Option number 1. So, many of you have already given the correct options. Well done. Keep it up. Perform same. Parso. Thik hai? Next. Uh, okay. Reaction of alkene with HBr. What is this ma'am? This is peroxide. So ma'am, ye toh hameh already pata hai ki jab alkene ki reaction HBr se karte hai in the presence of peroxide, bachpan se sikha hai na ye toh, kya hota hai? Anti-Markonikov rule se addition ho jata hai. So kya hoga? Negative part kaha jayega yahaan par aur positive part kaha jayega yahaan par. Right? So what will be the answer? Negative part wahaan jayega jahaan par number of hydrogens kya honge? Zada, where the number of hydrogens are more, so Br will come here and H will go there. So let's see, this will not be the product, this will not be the product, the product will be this. Very easy question for you. I think all of you have given the correct answer. Well done. Next question. Which of the following molecule is non-polar in nature? Now we are talking about the non-polar molecule. So we need to write the structure. Some of you have given the answer, let's see. NO2. What is NO2? Let's, let's start with SbCl5. So, we need to identify what will be the shape. So, shape will be SbCl5, this shape. Symmetrical, Cl, Cl, Cl. So, what will be the dipole moment? Dipole moment will be 0. Why? Because these three bonds will give the resultant and it will be cancelled out. In dono ka to cancel hoi jayega. Ultimately, kyunki symmetrical structure hota hai, to dipole moment kya aayega? Zero aayega. Thik hai, so answer is SbCl5. Baaki cases mein agar aap draw karke dekho ge, so there will be some polar bonds which may not cancel out. Right? So what is the correct answer? Correct answer is ye. You know the structures of these. So yaha par ya to lone pair hoga, ya fir koi aisa bond hoga, jo polar reh jayega, this will not be cancelled out. And the answer will be, SbCl5, symmetric, right? Next. So, we need to match the column. SO2 plus O2 gives to SO3. So, what is this? This is what? Pollution? Yes, this is tropospheric pollution. HOCl 
gives me this OH plus Cl. This is for ozone depletion. This you are already sure about this. So B matches with third. B matches with third in two options, right? So these will not be the answer. These will not be the answers. Now let us talk about these. What is this? This is acid rain, right? So she C match hoga first to say C should match with first. So what is the answer? Answer is option number fourth, right? Clear everybody? A question from environmental chemistry. Four, three, one, two. Yes, correct everyone. Next. 5.3 grams of Na2CO3 is dissolved in 200 ml of solution. Okay, so let us see first line. Pehli line mein kya hai? This gram of Na2CO3 is dissolved in this amount of solution. Now it is also diluted by added, adding 800 ml of water. So this is our first part of the question. Let us see. Next, so uh, what I'll do, I'll calculate the equivalence. So what will be the equivalence? I'll we need to apply the formula. For dilution, we are using this formula, right? N1, V1 is equal to N2, V2. V1 is 200, N1 we don't know. We need to calculate. So what is this N1, V1 is equal to the equivalence, right? So I'll calculate the equivalence of Na2CO3. How can I calculate? The equivalence of Na2CO3 will be what? Given weight divided by equivalent weight. Now, what is the molecular weight of Na2CO3? It is what? It is 106. So, I will calculate what? I will calculate the equivalent weight. weight. What is the N factor? N factor is 2. It is a salt, right? So, I will divide it by 2. So, it, I will get 53. So, what will be the answer? Answer will be 0.1 equivalence. This will give me the value of equivalence of Na2CO3. So, I can write them here. I will calculate the normality after dilution. What will be the normality of this Na2CO3 solution after dilution? So, what I will do? I will substitute this here. And what will be N2? N2 I need to calculate. What is V2? V2 is the volume. Now, how much water I am adding? 800 ml. Initially, how much was there? 200 ml. Yes, Kalyan, you are absolutely right. So, it will be now 1000. This will be in ml. Right? So, what will be N2? Converting it to liter or I can write 1 liter. So, it will be N2 will be 0.1. Because in normality, I need the volume should be in liter. Remember this. So, N2 agya. Ab now, next part. 100 ml of the resulting solution. Abhi hame resulting solution jo mila hai, uski normality ye hai. Now, it requires V ml of itna sulfuric acid for complete neutralization. Now, this is the resulting normality of what? Na2CO3. Okay? Um, now, we are using this solution to neutralize H2SO4. So, again, I will be using same formula. So, let us change the color. So, it will be NaVA is equal to NVVB. Na is the normality of acid. What is the normality? 0 0.02 normal into. Now, what is VA? VA is the acid volume so it will be v nb is what normality of base it will be 0.1 and what is the volume here 100 ml now what will be the correct answer volume will be 0 0.0 uh, sorry 0 0.1 into 100 divided by 0 0.02 so you can calculate the answer will be 500 ml. Here by mistake we got different option. I think the option was in paper 2000 ml. So what is the correct answer? Correct answer is 500 ml. Well done. Okay. You all have, you have some of you have given the correct answers. Next. Flocculation value of magnesium 2 plus for coagulation of this compound is given. Now for a particular compound you are given the flocculation value. You need to find the flocculation value of ALC, AL3+. Now we, we know that for AL3+, the flocculation value will be, you know, uh, the, the coagulating power will be more than that of magnesium, right? And we know that the coagulation power is inversely proportional to the flocculation value. So, agar iski value 0 0.69 hai magnesium ki, so jo hamara iska hai, iski value will be less than 0 0.69. 
Why? Because it has more coagulation power. Coagulation power is inversely proportional to this value. So, इससे कम वाली कौन सी वैल्यू है मेरे पास आई हैव ओनली वन ऑप्शन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो नाइन थ्री विच इज द करेक्ट आंसर ओके सो सम ऑफ यू गिवन दी करेक्ट आंसर्स वेल डन गाइज ऐसे ही करते रहना है ठीक है नेक्स्ट द एनर्जीज ऑफ एक्टिवेशन ऑफ फॉरवर्ड एंड रिवर्स रिएक्शन फॉर दिस रिएक्शन आर दिस सो लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी सो दिस इज रिएक्टेंस आई वुड से and this will be product right now from here reaching here to here this is what activation energy what is the activation energy for the forward reaction it is 180 kJ now for the reverse reaction they are saying the activation energy is 200 kJ per mole next in the presence of catalyst they are lowering the low energy by 100 kJ per mole we need to calculate the enthalpy change now Keep this thing in mind. ये सबको पता है कि कैटलिस्ट एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी को कम कर देते हैं राइट बट कैटलिस्ट कभी भी एंथालपी को चेंज नहीं करते हैं रिमेंबर दिस एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी चेंज हो जाएगी इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ कैटलिस्ट वी विल गेट अ न्यू डाइग्राम एंड यू नो एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी विल बी डिक्रीज ऐसा कुछ मिलेगा सो एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी नाउ विल बिकम वॉट दिस विल बी एट टी आई एम राइटिंग हियर एंड दिस विल बी सम वॉट हंड्रेड राइट हंड्रेड से कम होगी बट इट विल नॉट अफेक्ट वो डेल्टा एच डेल्टा एच कहाँ से मिलता है यहाँ से दिस विल गिव मी डेल्टा एच सो डेल्टा एच विल बी वॉट ई फॉरवर्ड माइनस ई बैकवर्ड एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी और फॉरवर्ड रिएक्शन माइनस बैकवर्ड रिएक्शन सो क्या होगा आंसर वन एट्टी माइनस टू हंड्रेड सो आंसर विल बी माइनस ट्वेंटी विच इज द करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन नंबर फोर्थ राइट वेल डन आप लोगों ने भी सही आंसर दिया है राइट सो वी हैव सम मोर क्वेश्चंस लेफ्ट कम ही बच्चे ना जल्दी जल्दी हो जाएगा ल्यूकास रिएजेंट ल्यूकास रिएजेंट इज यूज फॉर द सेपरेशन ऑफ प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी एंड टर्शरी एल्कोहल नाउ व्हाट हैपन्स व्हेन वी आर टेकिंग प्राइमरी एल्कोहल वी रिक्वायर अ कैटलिस्ट विच इज जिंक क्लोराइड है ना लेकिन उसके बाद भी वी आर नॉट गेटिंग टर्बिडिटी वॉट हैपन्स इन सेकेंडरी एल्कोहल सेकेंडरी एल्कोहल में वी आर गेटिंग टर्बिडिटी आफ्टर लाइक फाइव टेन मिनट्स एंड इन टर्शली दे रिएक्ट इमीजिएटली विथ ल्यूकास रिएजेंट टू गिव इमीजिएट टर्बिडिटी सो वॉट इज द आंसर यहाँ पर आंसर क्या होगा हमें टर्बिडिटी रूम टेम्परेचर पर नहीं चाहिए है ना हम बॉयल करते हैं तो प्राइमरी में भी हमें टर्बिडिटी मिलती है बट वी आर नॉट हीटिंग दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रूम टेम्परेचर सो आंसर में क्या होना चाहिए वो वाला एल्कोहल दैट विल बी प्राइमरी राइट so out of these we need to search for a primary alcohol now what is this isopentyl alcohol isopropyl alcohol 2 butanol 2 butanol is definitely not the answer 2 methyl this will be secondary this will be tertiary isopropyl alcohol what is this isopropyl alcohol ch3 ch3 and this is isopropyl alcohol so what is this secondary alcohol so answer will be isopentyl alcohol right correct kalyan is giving correct answer well done kalyan keep it up parso bhi aise dhamal karke aana hai theek hai chalo so we are reacting this ether with hi so what will happen generally in this reaction at in the first step protonation is taking place resulting in the formation of an oxonium ion so ch2 o and this will be so in the first step we'll get this now abhi kya ho sakta hai ye wala bond bhi break ho sakta hai aur ye wala bhi bond break ho sakta hai but kaun sa bond break hoga ye wala why because isse kya hoga we will be getting a benzyl cation which is a which is a stable cation so reaction will follow sn1 pathway and we will be getting this phenol right in the next step what will happen i minus will come here and attack here so my answer will be ch2i plus phenol this is another pyq so what is the answer answer has to be option number 2 yes yes everyone is supporting so let's move to the next question primary amine is not the product in the reaction so when i am react doing the reduction of rcn i get what rch2 nh2 which is a primary amine br2koh a very common name reaction hoffman bromamide 
so this will give me again primary amine next in the reduction of nitro amine i am getting rnh2 this is also a primary amine but when i am doing the reduction of what isocyanide i am getting a secondary amine so this will be rnh ch3 so our answer is option fourth yes guys yes you are right so let us move to the last question we need to match the reaction these are common name reactions first when i'm reacting benzene with cohcl what it gives this is a gutterman coach reaction so a should match with second for according to this answer is one so let's see b b is what this is heliform reaction so it will match with third correct c c is what reaction of alcohol with acid this is esterification so this should match with fourth and d this is hell bullard zelinski reaction that is option number 1 so answer has to be 1 so that's all all the best for your exam acche se karna hai sabko darna bilkul bhi nahi hai give your best bye bye हेलो हाय एवरीवन वेलकम टू इंफिनिटी लर्न आई नो वी आर डिस्कसिंग दिस पेपर एंड वी आर इन द लास्ट फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन ऑफ आर लास्ट मॉक टेस्ट राइट सो बच्चों चैट बॉक्स में इतना सन्नाटा क्यों है कुछ जोश चाहिए मुझे कल्याण ललिता देन विनय हाय एवरीवन हाय गाइस हाय गाइस आई नो यू गाइस आर वेटिंग फॉर फिजिक्स सॉल्यूशन क्योंकि फिजिक्स सबका प्यारा सब्जेक्ट होता है लेकिन इसको डिस्कस करने के लिए मुझे थोड़ा सा जोश आपसे चाहिए बिकॉज आज आपका लास्ट मॉक टेस्ट है अब सीधा आप आखिरी जंग में जाएंगे तो थोड़ा सा शोर तो बनता है ये एवरी चलो लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन बट बिफोर दैट लेट्स रिमूव एवरीथिंग चलो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन डिस्कस करते हैं हाय बच्चों हाय 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 सो डैम्पिंग फोर्स ऑन एन ऑसिलेटर इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू वेलोसिटी द यूनिट ऑफ द कांस्टेंट ऑफ प्रोपोर्शनलिटी इज डैम्पिंग फोर्स इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू वेलोसिटी सो फोर्स इज इक्वल टू के कैन बी राइट इट येस हम लिख सकते हैं राइट वेर के इज दी प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी कांस्टेंट तो यहाँ से बच्चों प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी कांस्टेंट क्या आएगा एफ अपॉन बी फोर्स का यूनिट क्या हो जाएगा मास इनटू एक्सेलरेशन यस वेरी वेरी वेल डन गाइस इट इज किलोग्राम इनटू मीटर अपॉन सेकंड स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय वेलोसिटीज मीटर पर सेकंड मीटर मीटर कैंसिल सेकेंड सेकेंड कैंसिल तो इसका जो करेक्ट आंसर आएगा दैट इज ऑप्शन थ्री किलोग्राम पर सेकेंड वेल डन एवरी चलो नेक्स्ट इज दिस वन अगले क्वेश्चन की तरफ बढ़ते हैं इफ एल इज इक्वल्स टू टू पॉइंट थ्री थ्री वन सेंटीमीटर एंड बी इज इक्वल्स टू टू पॉइंट वन सेंटीमीटर देन एल प्लस बी क्या होगा एडिशन करना है बट वी नीड टू टेक केयर ऑफ द सिग्निफिकेंट फिगर आल्सो तो ये हो जाएगा फोर पॉइंट फोर थ्री वन है ना 
तो करेक्ट आंसर आपको लग रहा होगा ऑप्शन वन जाएगा नो करेक्ट आंसर अपना जो जाएगा दैट विल बी अकॉर्डिंग टू द रूल्स ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंट फिगर्स यहाँ पे आपके आफ्टर डेसिमल प्लेसेस वी हैव थ्री डिजिट्स एंड यहाँ पे आफ्टर डेसिमल प्लेसेस वी हैव वन डिजिट तो यहाँ पे जो फाइनल रिजल्ट आएगा इट शुड हैव ओनली वन डिजिट आफ्टर डेसिमल प्लेसेस सो वी नीड टू राउंड इट ऑफ फ्रॉम थ्री है ना सो थ्री इज द डिजिट दैट वी वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉप विच इज लेस देन फाइव सो प्रिसीडिंग डिजिट विल नॉट चेंज सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी फोर पॉइंट फोर सेंटीमीटर विच इज ऑप्शन थ्री वेल डन गाइज वेल डन वेल डन सबसे आंसर चाहिए मुझे सबसे रिस्पॉन्स चाहिए ये वाला जो फिजिक्स का पेपर आप करोगे तो आपका जो कॉन्फिडेंस है फॉर नीट एग्जाम वो बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ जाएगा है ना तो साथ में करते हैं फिजिक्स का पेपर साथ में करते हैं चलो नेक्स्ट इज दिस वन अ वायर ऑफ लेंथ सिक्सटी सेंटीमीटर इज बेंट इन टू अ सर्कल विथ अ गैप ऑफ वन सेंटीमीटर एट इट्स एंड ठीक है वायर को ऐसे बेंट किया कि इसके जो एंड्स हैं उनके बीच में वन सेंटीमीटर का गैप है ऑन हीटिंग इट बाई हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्शियस टेम्परेचर कितना चेंज किया हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्शियस द लेंथ ऑफ द गैप इंक्रीजेस टू वन पॉइंट जीरो टू सेंटीमीटर है ना वॉट इज द चेंज इन लेंथ बच्चो वॉट इज द चेंज इन लेंथ वन पॉइंट जीरो टू माइनस वन सेंटीमीटर विच इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू सेंटीमीटर राइट सो कोफिशियंट ऑफ लीनियर एक्सपेंशन ऑफ द मटीरियल ऑफ द वायर वॉट इज द कोफिशियंट ऑफ द लीनियर एक्सपेंशन ऑफ द मटीरियल ऑफ द वायर तो यह जाएगा चेंज इन लेंथ डेल्टा एल इज इक्वल टू एल नॉट एल्फा डेल्टा थीटा डेल्टा एल इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू एल नॉट इज वन इन टू एल्फा डेल्टा थीटा इज हंड्रेड तो यहां से बच्चों एल्फा विल बी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू डिवाइडेड बाई हंड्रेड एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू टू इन टू टेन पार माइनस फोर पर डिग्री सेल्सियस विच इज ऑप्शन वन वेल डन वेल डन एवरी वन गुड जॉब चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं फोर्थ क्वेश्चन फोर्थ क्वेश्चन ऑफ फिजिक्स पार्टिकल इज प्रोजेक्टेड फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड विथ वेलॉसिटी फोर्टी आई कैप प्लस थर्टी जे कैप मीटर पर सेकेंड द रेंज ऑफ द प्रोजेक्टाइल इज ठीक है तो रेंज वी नो दैट इट इज यू स्क्वेर साइन टू थीटा अपॉन जी बट यहां पे ये यूज नहीं करना राइट right? यहां पे हमें ये यूज नहीं करना यहां पे हम यूज करेंगे रेंज इज इक्वल्स टू टू यू एक्स यू वाई डिवाइडेड बाई जी ठीक है यू एक्स एक्स कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ इनिशियल वेलोसिटी फोर्टी यू वाई वाई कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ इनिशियल वेलोसिटी थर्टी डिवाइडेड बाई जी इज टेन देखो कैंसिल कैंसिल कितना आएगा टू फोर्टी मीटर विच इज ऑप्शन थ्री वेल डन गाइज वेल डन गुड जॉब एवरी वन गुड जॉब अरिजित चलिए अगला क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव अ ट्रक ट्रेवलिंग ड्यू नॉर्थ एट ट्वेंटी मीटर पर सेकेंड टर्न वेस्ट एंड ट्रेवल सेट एट द सेम स्पीड ओके ट्वेंटी मीटर पर सेकेंड से ये वेस्ट की तरफ टर्न हो जाते हैं I am taking this axis as x-axis and this axis as y-axis. Fine. So initial velocity vector kya aega? 20 j cap and final velocity vector is minus 20 i cap. So what is change in velocity, bachcho? Change in velocity kya hoga? So it is u final minus u initial. ठीक है, u final minus u initial. So it is minus 20 i cap minus 20 j cap. Fine. So, आपका जो फाइनल चेंज इन वेलोसिटी है दैट इज दिस वन 20 20 अलोंग नेगेटिव एंड नेगेटिव एक्स एंड नेगेटिव वाई एक्सिस तो इनका जो वेक्टर होगा रिजल्टेंट दैट विल बी लाइक दिस ठीक है दैट इज अलोंग साउथ वेस्ट डायरेक्शन एंड 20 और 20 दोनों का वेक्टर समीशन कितना आ जाएगा अंडर रूट ऑफ माइनस ट्वेंटी का स्क्वायर प्लस माइनस ट्वेंटी का स्क्वायर दैट इज ट्वेंटी रूट टू सो करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन फोर ट्वेंटी रूट टू अलॉन्ग साउथ वेस्ट डायरेक्शन चलिए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एवरी वन आई होप सब लोग साथ में बने हुए हैं है ना सबको मिलके सॉल्व करना है बच्चों आखिरी फिजिक्स के 50 क्वेश्चन हैं जो पूरे दिलो जान से हमें सॉल्व करने हैं क्योंकि इसके बाद हम सीधा नीट के 50 क्वेश्चन सही करेंगे अ बॉडी ऑफ मास 4 किलोग्राम इज सस्पेंडेड बाय स्प्रिंग बैलेंस फ्रॉम द रूफ ऑफ एन ओके ठीक है स्प्रिंग बैलेंस है उससे फोर किलोग्राम मास इज सस्पेंडेड एंड दिस एंटायर सिस्टम इज मूविंग विथ constant acceleration a in the upward direction reading of the spring balance is 48 newton in the first case it is 48 newton so 
लेट्स मेक एफ बी डी ऑफ फोर किलोग्राम सो यहाँ पे इट विल बी हैविंग सम फोर्स फ्रॉम द स्प्रिंग इन दी अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन एंड इट इज गिवन एस फोर्टी एट न्यूटन एम जी फोर्टी न्यूटन डाउनवर्ड एंड एक्सेलरेशन ए इज अपवर्ड तो वॉट इज द नेट फोर्स ऑन दिस ब्लॉक फोर्टी एट माइनस फोर्टी दैट इज एट न्यूटन एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू मास इन टू एक्सेलरेशन वेल डन बच्चो फोर इन टू ए सो ए विल बी टू मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेर है ना अब देखो हमने क्या किया उल्टा कर दो बोला क्या सेम सिस्टम है सेम एक्सेलरेशन से नीचे ले जाओ फाइन सेम सिस्टम सेम एक्सेलरेशन से नीचे ले जाओ तो क्या होगा बच्चों रिएक्शन रिएक्शन मतलब स्प्रिंग का जो फोर्स है लेट्स से दिस इट इज आर टू एम तो अभी भी नीचे लगेगा राइट एंड एक्सेलरेशन ए अब नीचे लगेगा सो व्हाट इज नेट फोर्स फोर्टी माइनस आर टू इज इक्वल टू फोर इन टू ए एज टू फाइन सो आर टू विल बी फोर्टी माइनस एट दैट इज इक्वल टू थर्टी टू न्यूटन राइट सो आई होप यू गाइज आर गेटिंग द सेम आंसर थर्टी टू न्यूटन ऑप्शन थ्री इज करेक्ट वेल डन बच्चो वेल डन वेल डन आगे बढ़ते हैं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन अ वहीकल ऑफ मास एम इज मूविंग ऑन अ रफ हॉर्जोंटल रोड विथ मोमेंटम पी ठीक है मोमेंटम पी है मोमेंटम इज मास इनटू इनिशियल वेलोसिटी ओवर हियर व्हिच इज पी सो इनिशियल वेलोसिटी इज पी अपॉन यू एम राइट इफ द कोफिशियंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द टायर एंड द रोड इज म्यू देन द स्टॉपिंग डिस्टेंस इज तो कोफिशियंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन म्यू दे रखा है बच्चों तो क्या होगा रिटार्डेशन कितना हो जाएगा म्यू इन जी ओके एंड स्टॉपिंग डिस्टेंस पूछा है दैट मीन्स फाइनल वेलोसिटी शुड बी जीरो फाइनल वेलोसिटी शुड बी जीरो वी इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो आ गया फाइन तो यहां से लगाओ वी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू यू स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए एस वी स्क्वायर जीरो यू स्क्वायर आपका आ गया पी अपॉन एम का होल स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए इज माइनस म्यू जी बिकॉज इट इज रिटार्डिंग इन टू एस फाइन तो एस विल बी P square upon 2m square into mu g. P square upon 2m square into mu g. Correct answer आपका आ जाएगा option थ्री Option थ्री आ जाएगा बेटा ठीक है चलो 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 Question number फाइव में क्या doubt आ गया बताओ 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 जल्दी से बेटा बताओ अपने doubts. Meanwhile हम आगे बढ़ते हैं अगला question question number एट A Carnot cycle takes in 1000 joules of heat from a source at a high temperature of 400 Kelvin. High temperature किसका होता है? Source का. 400 Kelvin is given. How much heat is rejected to the sink at lower temperature? Lower temperature किसका होता है? Sink का. Right. So T2 is equal to 300 Kelvin. और बोला क्या कि 1000 joules of heat is taken from the source. मतलब Q1. Is 1000 joules. We need to find Q2. बड़ा सिंपल सा क्वेश्चन है बिल्कुल अपने आने वाले नीट के पेपर की तरह राइट सो Q1 वन अपॉन क्यू टू इज इक्वल टू टी वन अपॉन टी टू सो क्यू टू विल बी क्यू वन टी टू डिवाइडेड बाई टी वन राइट क्यू वन इज वन थाउजेंड टी टू क्या हो जाएगा थ्री हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई टी वन इज 400. इसको आप सॉल्व करोगे आपको करेक्ट आंसर मिलेगा वैल्यू ऑफ Q2 टू एस सेवन जूल्स कितना आ जाएगा 750 जूल्स ठीक है वेल well डन बच्चों वेल well डन बेचा कोई भी डाउट है यहाँ पे पोस्ट करते जाओ आपके जो कमेंट्स हैं वो हम लगातार देख पा रहे हैं तो आप अपने डाउट्स बता सकते हो बेटा चलिए अगला क्वेश्चन If the angular momentum of a body of mass m rotating in a circle of radius r is l, then it इट सेंट्रिपिटल फोर्सेज तो एंगुलर मोमेंटम क्या हो जाएगा सर्कल में है एम मास वी वेलॉसिटी से आर रेडियस पॉपेंडिकुलर सो एंगुलर मोमेंटम सीधा आ जाएगा एम वी आर राइट तो यहाँ से बच्चों वेलॉसिटी मिलेगी एल अपॉन एम आर वॉट इज सेंट्रिपिटल फोर्स एम वी स्क्वायर अपॉन आर एम वी स्क्वायर की जगह रखेंगे एल अपॉन एम आर का होल स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई आर इसको सॉल्व करो फटाफट से बच्चों सॉल्व करो सारे मिलके एक साथ सॉल्व करेंगे कुछ आखिरी फोर्टी क्वेश्चन बचे हुए हैं हमारे इस साल के एम अपॉन आर इंटू एल स्क्वायर अपॉन एम स्क्वायर आर स्क्वायर सो दिस इज एम एम कैंसल सो इट इज एल स्क्वायर अपॉन एम आर क्यूब एल स्क्वायर अपॉन एम आर क्यूब विच इज ऑप्शन थ्री वेल डन गाइज वेल डन वेल डन वेल डन बहुत ही बढ़िया 
चलिए आगे बढ़ते हैं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन की तरफ क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन वर्क डन बाय कंजर्वेटिव फोर्स ऑन अ सिस्टम इज इक्वल टू वर्क डन बाय किसका पूछा है कंजर्वेटिव फोर्स वर्क डन बाय कंजर्वेटिव फोर्स इज माइनस ऑफ चेंज इन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी देखो कौन सा ऑप्शन है चेंज इन कैनेटिक एनर्जी नो दैट इज वर्क डन बाय ऑल द फोर्सेज द नेगेटिव ऑफ चेंज इन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ऑफ द सिस्टम ये सो करेक्ट आंसर क्या आ जाएगा ऑप्शन टू वेल डन गाइज वेल डन वेल डन बहुत ही बढ़िया आगे बढ़ते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन टू स्टोन ऑफ मास एम एंड टू एम आर प्रोजेक्टेड वर्टिकली अपवर्ड सो एस टू रीच द सेम हाइट दोनों सेम हाइट पे जाएंगे ओके द रेशियो ऑफ द कानेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द प्रोजेक्शन इज कानेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द प्रोजेक्शन का रेशियो बताना है ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है सेम हाइट पे जाएंगे इसको एम ले लो इसको टू एम ले लो है ना सेम हाइट पे जाएंगे मतलब इनका सेम वेलोसिटी ऑफ प्रोजेक्शन रहेगा वेलोसिटी ऑफ प्रोजेक्शन विल बी सेम बिकॉज दे आर रीचिंग द सेम हाइट हाइएस्ट पॉइंट पे जाके वेलोसिटी क्या हो जाता है जीरो इनिशियल वेलोसिटी यू ले लो दोनों को रिटार्डेशन जी ही मिलेगा अपवर्ड मोशन में राइट एंड दोनों सेम हाइट पे जा रहे हैं सो हाइट इज एच तो वी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू यू स्क्वायर प्लस टू जी एच कर लो वी स्क्वायर क्या हो जाएगा जीरो हाईएस्ट पॉइंट पे वेलोसिटी इज जीरो इनिशियल वेलोसिटी मैंने अज्यूम कर लिया यू सो इट इज यू स्क्वायर प्लस टू इंटू माइनस जी इंटू एच तो यहां से बच्चों आपको मिलेगा यू स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू टू जी एच एंड यू विल बी अंडर रूट ऑफ टू जी एच एंड यू कैन सी दैट इनिशियल वेलोसिटी ऑफ प्रोजेक्शन इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन जी एंड एच जी सेम है एच सेम है सो बोथ ऑफ दिस बॉडीज विल बी हैविंग सेम वेलोसिटी ऑफ प्रोजेक्शन ठीक है यहां पे सब क्लियर अब बात करते हैं काइनेटिक एनर्जी की सो फर्स्ट बॉडी की अगर मैं काइनेटिक एनर्जी की बात करूं तो इट इज हाफ इंटू एम इंटू यू स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द सेकेंड बॉडी इट इज हाफ इंटू टू एम इंटू यू स्क्वायर दोनों का वेलोसिटी ऑफ प्रोजेक्शन सेम रखना है हाफ ऑफ कैंसिल एम एम कैंसिल यू स्क्वायर यू स्क्वायर कैंसिल सो वेलोसिटी सॉरी कैंडिक एनर्जी का रेशियो जो आएगा दैट इज वन इज टू टू विच इज ऑप्शन टू आई होप इट इज क्लियर सबको क्लियर हुआ ठीक है चलिए बच्चों बहुत ही बढ़िया बहुत ही बढ़िया एक्सीलेंट uh, जिस तरीके से आपके अभी सही आंसर आ रहे हैं श्योर नीट पेपर में भी आपके सही ही आंसर आएंगे यस yes, बेटा यस yes, विश्वास ऐसे ही क्वेश्चन आएंगे कॉन्सेप्ट और फॉर्मूला बस स्ट्रॉन्ग होना चाहिए बाकी चाहे क्वेश्चन कुछ भी हो हम उसको पूरा फोड़ेंगे राइट right, चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व की तरफ मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ अ सॉलिड डिस्क अबाउट अ डायमीटर इज आई ये सॉलिड डिस्क है उसके डायमीटर के अबाउट मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया आई है अगर मैं आर रेडियस ले लू एम मास ले लू तो आई किसके बराबर हो जाएगा एम आर स्क्वायर बाई फोर है ना डायमीटर प्लेन में है बेटा एक्सेस तो इट इज एम आर स्क्वायर बाई फोर ठीक है फाइन अब हमसे क्या पूछा कि देर इज वन मोर एक्सेस विच इज पासिंग थ्रू अ पॉइंट ऑन इट सर्कम फेरेंस एंड परपेंडिकुलर टू द प्लेन ऑफ द डिस्क तो ये आपकी जो एक्सेस है वो ऐसे पास हो रही है इट इज परपेंडिकुलर टू द प्लेन ऑफ द डिस्क ठीक है तो उसका मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया क्या आएगा तो उसके लिए हम क्या लगाएंगे पैरल एक्सिस थ्योरम लगाएंगे मुझे पता है इस एक्सिस के अबाउट मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया क्या होता है इट इज आई सी एम एंड इट इज इक्वल टू एम आर स्क्वायर बाई टू ठीक है आपको नहीं दिख रहा होगा ये मैं वापस लिखती हूँ इट इज एम आर स्क्वायर बाई टू फाइन अब पैरल एक्सिस थ्योरम लगाओ पैरल एक्सिस थ्योरम लगाओगे इसके अबाउट मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया फाइंड करने के लिए तो इट इज आई इज इक्वल टू आई सी एम प्लस एम डी स्क्वायर आई सी एम कितना है एम आर स्क्वायर बाई टू प्लस एम डी दोनों के बीच में डिस्टेंस रेडियस के बराबर है सो इट इज एम आर स्क्वायर सो दिस इज थ्री एम आर स्क्वायर बाई टू कितना आएगा थ्री एम आर स्क्वायर बाई टू फाइन बट आई इज इक्वल टू एम आर स्क्वायर बाई फोर तो यहां से बच्चों एम आर स्क्वायर हो जाएगा फोर आई उसको हम यहां पे पुट करेंगे तो इट इज थ्री बाई टू इंटू फोर आई एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू सिक्स आई तो इस एक्सिस के अबाउट मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया कितना आ गया सिक्स आई विच इज ऑप्शन नंबर वन ऑप्शन वन बच्चे ऑप्शन वन वेल डन वेल डन आर्यन आई होप इट इज क्लियर चलिए अगला क्वेश्चन काइंटिक एनर्जी ऑफ अ बॉडी रोटेटिंग एट 300 हंड्रेड आर पी एम एस सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट एट जूल्स इट्स एंगुलर मोमेंटम इज ठीक है बॉडी रोटेट कर रही है काइनेटिक एनर्जी क्या हो जाएगी हाफ आई ओमेगा स्क्वायर एंड दैट इज सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट एट जूल्स फाइन 
अब मुझे क्या पता है ओमेगा पता है ओमेगा भी सीधा सीधा नहीं पता टेढ़ा टेढ़ा पता है मतलब आरपीएम दे रखा है रिवॉल्यूशन पर मिनट एक मिनट में 60 सेकेंड्स में हम 300 हंड्रेड रिवॉल्यूशन करेंगे तो एक सेकेंड में कितने रिवॉल्यूशन करेंगे 300 हंड्रेड बाई सिक्सटी दैट इज इक्वल टू फाइव रिवॉल्यूशन पर सेकेंड रिवॉल्यूशन का फ्रिक्वेंसी पता है ओमेगा हो जाएगा टू पाई एफ दैट इज इक्वल टू टू पाई इन टू फाइव दैट इज इक्वल टू टेन पाई रेडियन पर सेकेंड ठीक है एक सेकेंड में हम टेन पाई रेडियन घूमेंगे बहुत ही बढ़िया वेल डन एवरी वन वेल डन सो यहाँ से बच्चों इट इज हाफ आई ओमेगा इन टू ओमेगा कर लो एंड ये सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट एट आया आई ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू एंगुलर मोमेंटम सीधा तो ये हो जाएगा हाफ इन टू एल इन टू ओमेगा हमने निकाला टेन पाई एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट एट तो यहाँ से बच्चों एंगुलर मोमेंटम आएगा सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट एट इंटू टू डिवाइडेड बाई टेन पाई सॉल्व करो सॉल्व करोगे आपको आंसर मिलेगा ऑप्शन थ्री फोर जूल्स इंटू सेकेंड फोर जूल्स इंटू सेकेंड ठीक है हाँ बेटा पेन पेपर बेस्ड अपना क्वेश्चन पेपर रहेगा इस बार एग्जाम ठीक है जैसे आप हर बार देखते हो वैसा ही रहेगा एक्सिलेंट नेक्स्ट इज दिस वन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन द फिजिकल क्वांटिटी ऑफ द फॉलोइंग दैट इज नॉट कंजर्व इन केस ऑफ प्लैनेट रिवॉल्विंग इन एन ऑर्बिट तो रिवॉल्विंग इन एन ऑर्बिट एलिप्टिकल ऑर्बिट हो जाएगा ठीक है एलिप्टिकल ऑर्बिट में एंगुलर मोमेंटम कंजर्व रहता है बच्चों टोटल एनर्जी कंजर्व रहेगा एरियल वेलोसिटी कंजर्व रहेगा बट काइनेटिक एनर्जी आपका जो है दैट विल बी नॉट कंजर्व सो करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन फोर करेक्ट आंसर क्या आ जाएगा ऑप्शन फोर वेल डन वेल डन वेल डन गाइस चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन अ बॉडी फॉल्स फ्रॉम अ हाइट ऑफ सिक्सटीन मीटर एंड रीबाउंड टू अ हाइट ऑफ फोर मीटर द कोफिशियंट ऑफ रेस्टिट्यूशन इज फॉल करती है मतलब उनके पास कुछ भी नहीं है इनिशियल वेलासिटी ग्राउंड पे आए सिक्सटीन मीटर हाइट से लेट्स से वी वन वेलासिटी से स्ट्राइक किया तो वी वन वेलासिटी बच्चों क्या हो जाएगा अंडर रूट टू जी एच दैट इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट टू इंटू टेन इंटू सिक्सटीन ठीक है तो आ जाएगा फोर रूट ट्वेंटी अब इनको अच्छा नहीं लगा ये रिबाउंड कर गए ठीक है रिबाउंड किए तो कितना ऊपर गए फोर मीटर हाइट तक तो यहाँ से लेट्स से इन्होंने v2 टू वेलासिटी से रिबाउंड किया सो v2 टू विल बी अगेन अंडर रूट टू जी एच दैट इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट टू इंटू टेन इंटू फोर एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू अंडर रूट ट्वेंटी मीटर पर सेकेंड तो हमारे पास वेलासिटी ऑफ अप्रोच आ गया बॉल जो है वो सरफेस को कितनी वेलासिटी से अप्रोच करेगा दैट इज वी वन वेलोसिटी ऑफ सेपरेशन कितनी वेलोसिटी से बॉल सरफेस से सेपरेट होगा दैट इज वी टू सो कोफिशियंट ऑफ रेस्टिट्यूशन इज वेलोसिटी ऑफ सेपरेशन डिवाइडेड बाय वेलोसिटी ऑफ अप्रोच है ना वेलोसिटी ऑफ सेपरेशन इज वी टू डिवाइडेड बाय वेलोसिटी ऑफ अप्रोच इज वी वन वी टू क्या है टू रूट ट्वेंटी वी वन क्या है क्या हाँ ये रहा फोर रूट ट्वेंटी रूट ट्वेंटी रूट ट्वेंटी के आंसर टू अपॉन फोर इज वन बाई टू एंड करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन वन ठीक है समझ में आया बच्चों एवरीवन आई होप यू गाइज आर विथ मी हियर अगर आपको इसमें कॉन्फिडेंस आ रहा है तो बच्चों आपको घबराने की बिल्कुल भी जरूरत नहीं है हमारा नीट का पेपर भी एकदम ही ऐसे आएगा क्योंकि आपके कॉन्सेप्ट स्ट्रांग है राइट right? कॉन्सेप्ट स्ट्रांग है तो सब कुछ इजी हो जाएगा फाइन इन बॉयस एक्सपेरिमेंट फॉर अ गिवन गैस एट डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर द ग्राफ बिटवीन ड्रॉन बिटवीन प्रेशर एंड डेंसिटी आर स्ट्रेट लाइन्स एज शोन देन आपको बताना टी वन टी टू में क्या रिलेशन है तो बॉयस लो के लिए क्या हो जाएगा आपका पी वी इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट और पी अपॉन रो इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट तो अगर आप इक्वेशन लिखोगे तो पी इज इक्वल टू रो आर टी अपॉन एम है ना डेंसिटी आपका रो या डी मान लो अब एक पर्टिकुलर डेंसिटी वैल्यू को सेलेक्ट कर लो ठीक है तो इस पर्टिकुलर डेंसिटी वैल्यू पे ये आपका टेम्परेचर टी टू ये आपका टेम्परेचर टी वन वाला ग्राफ है इस पर देखो प्रेशर पी वन पी टू मान लो इस पे प्रेशर पी वन मान लो फाइन इस पे प्रेशर पी टू इस पे प्रेशर पी वन अब देखो ध्यान से अगर मैं डेंसिटी की वैल्यू को फिक्स कर लू आर फिक्स है एम फिक्स है तो प्रेशर आपका जो है वो दो अलग अलग ग्राफ्स के लिए किसके लिए ज्यादा होगा जिसका टेम्परेचर ज्यादा होगा है ना जिसका टेम्परेचर ज्यादा होगा प्रेशर आपका टेम्परेचर के डायरेक्ट रिलेशन में आएगा 
राइट right? तो प्रेशर P1 वन इज ग्रेटर देन पी वो क्यों होगा क्योंकि T1 वन इज ग्रेटर देन टी राइट सो करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन वन वेल डन गाइस वेल डन यही जोश बना रहना चाहिए एकदम आखिरी तक बस एक और दिन की जंग बाकी है और उसके बाद हम सीधा आपसे मिलेंगे 5:30 को 5:30 को हम वापस मिल जाएंगे आपसे ऑन सेवनटीन जैसे ही आप अपना पेपर देके आओगे हम आपके लिए यहाँ पे तैयार रहेंगे बिल्कुल और जब तक आप अच्छी रैंक नहीं ले जाते तब तक हम आपके साथ बने रहेंगे चलिए अगला क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवनटीन Breaking stress of a material is 10 power 8 newton per meter square and its density is 8 gram per cc which is 8 into 10 power 3 kilogram per meter cube exam mein ye galti nahi karna bachcho sare si units hame use karne hain then what is the maximum length of rod made of this material that can be suspended from one end without breaking ठीक है ब्रेकिंग स्ट्रेस इज फोर्स अपॉन एरिया जो रॉड है वो अपने खुद की वजन की वजह से भी तो टूट सकती है राइट यस बच्चों वेल डन सो इट इज एम जी अपॉन एरिया बट मास इज नॉट गिवन डेंसिटी इज गिवन वी नीड टू फाइंड लेंथ सो मास इज डेंसिटी इनटू वॉल्यूम वॉल्यूम क्या हो जाएगा एरिया ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शन इंटू लेंथ ठीक है तो मास को रखो रो ए एल इन टू जी डिवाइडेड बाई एरिया इज ए कैंसल तो हमारे पास ब्रेकिंग स्ट्रेस आ गया 10 पावर 8 इज इक्वल टू डेंसिटी इज 8000 थाउजेंड इन टू एल इज अ नोन जी इज 10 डिवाइडेड बाई एरिया तो कैंसिल हो गया तो बचा क्या एल इज इक्वल टू 10 पावर 8 डिवाइडेड बाय एट इंटू टेन पार फोर इसको आप सॉल्व करोगे यूल गेट योर आंसर एज वन पॉइंट टू फाइव किलोमीटर विच इज ऑप्शन वन ठीक है चलिए बहुत ही बढ़िया <coughs> बहुत ही बढ़िया गाइज दिस इज वन पॉइंट टू फाइव किलोमीटर सेवनटीन वाला आपने गलत कर दिया बेटा अब याद रहेगा अब गल अब गलती नहीं करना ठीक है अब क्वेश्चन को ढंग से पढ़ना और सोच समझ के आंसर करना फाइन फिजिक्स एक ऐसा सब्जेक्ट है जो आपकी रैंक को इंप्रूव करेगा बेटा अगर सिलेक्शन हुआ तो रैंक डेफिनेटली फिजिक्स इंप्रूव करेगा चलिए फॉर अ लिक्विड इन अ वेजल द फोर्स ऑफ कोहेशन इज ट्वाइस द फोर्स ऑफ एडेशन फोर्स ऑफ कोहेशन इज ट्वाइस द फोर्स ऑफ एडेशन फोर्स ऑफ कोहेशन ज्यादा है राइट फोर्स ऑफ कोहेशन ज्यादा है आपको बताना है व्हाट इज द रॉन्ग स्टेटमेंट बच्चों फोर्स ऑफ कोहेशन पता है ज्यादा होता है तो लिक्विड जो है वो सॉलिड को भाव नहीं देता लिक्विड जो है वो सॉलिड को वेट नहीं करेगा वो सॉलिड से नहीं चिपकेगा राइट right? जैसे ग्लास और मर्करी वाला केस हो जाता है ठीक है तो उस केस में क्या होगा एंगल ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट ग्रेटर देन नाइन्टी डिग्री आएगा कैपिलरी डिसेंट होगा हमें इसका कैसा होगा कॉन्वेक्स होगा सो so, इसमें जो रॉन्ग स्टेटमेंट है दैट इज ऑप्शन नंबर टू वेल डन एवरी वन वेल डन चलिए अगला क्वेश्चन इन अ स्टेशनरी वेव ऑल द पार्टिकल्स देखो कितना प्यारा क्वेश्चन है स्टेशनरी वेव में क्या होता है ऑल द पार्टिकल्स इन द रीजन बिटवीन द टू नोट्स वाइब्रेट इन सेम फेज दो नोट्स के बीच में जितने भी पार्टिकल है वो सेम फेज में वाइब्रेट करेंगे सो करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन टू वेल डन एवरी वन वेल डन चलो इजी 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 आई होप सारे बच्चे साथ में हैं एक्सीलेंट आगे क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू बॉडीज ऑफ मासिस फाइव किलोग्राम एंड थ्री किलोग्राम आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स ईच अदर विद टू मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड फोर मीटर पर सेकेंड रेस्पेक्टिवली देन वेलॉसिटी ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ मासिस पहले डायग्राम बनाओ 5 किलोग्राम ऐसे जा रहा है और 3 किलोग्राम इज मूविंग टूवर्ड्स फाइव लाइक दिस इसका वेलोसिटी 2 मीटर इसका वेलोसिटी 4 मीटर पर सेकेंड एक को डायरेक्शन को पॉजिटिव ले लेते हैं एक डायरेक्शन को नेगेटिव ले लेते हैं ठीक है फाइन तो यहाँ पे ये पॉजिटिव 2 मीटर हो जाएगा ये नेगेटिव माइनस फोर मीटर पर सेकेंड वेलासिटी वैक्टर क्वान्टिटी है डायरेक्शन को भी थोड़ी सी आ, Uh, यहाँ पे ध्यान रखना पड़ेगा नाउ व्हाट इज द वेलोसिटी ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ मास इट इज एम वन बी वन वैक्टर प्लस एम टू वी टू वैक्टर डिवाइडेड बाय एम वन प्लस एम टू चलो हमें पता है एम वन क्या है फाइव वी वन वैक्टर इज टू 
plus m2 is 3, v2 is minus 4 divided by m1 plus m2, kitna ho jayega? 5 plus 3, 8. So this is 10 minus 12 divided by 8 which is minus 2 upon 8 and that is minus 1 upon 4. Minus is liye aya kyunki overall jo center of mass hai wo is direction mein move kar raha hai. Jo direction humne negative assume ki thi, right? So center of mass bhi us negative direction ke taraf move kar raha hai. So it is towards 5 kilogram. Center of mass kaha ja raha hai? 5 kilogram ki taraf. Kitni velocity se 1 upon 4 ya 0.25 meter per second. So correct answer is option 3. 3 bachcho. Well done, well done. Bohut badiya, bohut hi badiya. Chaliye. Aage jaate hain. Question number 21. A hollow metal sphere of radius r. Hollow hai. Aadha kaam to yehi pe easy ho gaya. Hollow metal sphere ke andar to electric field ho jati hai. Zero. Right. Jaise ab bahar niklo ge, electric field ho jayegi k q upon r square. It is inversely proportional to r square. So inside, when r is less than r, well, if our point where we electric field find karni hai, uska distance from the center of the sphere is less than the radius of the sphere. So point under hai. Point under hai, to electric field is zero, right? And jaise hum point bahar jayega, electric field is inversely proportional to r square. So kya hoga? Electric field from the center is zero as r increases for r less than r and it decreases as r increases for r greater than r hai na chaliye bahut hi badhiya dekho ye seedha concept based question hai mujhe formula pata hai main seedha isko answer kar sakti hu right so formulas are very important bachcho ek bari sare formulas acche se revise kar lena next is an electric dipole is placed in a uniform electric field torque experienced by the dipole which is PE sin theta is equal to 8 into 10 power minus 6. And the magnitude of the potential energy is PE cos theta and it is equal to 8 upon root 3 into 10 power minus 6 joules. Pucha kya, what is the angle between the dipole moment vector and the electric field vector? Ye to aap karke bataoge. Aap karke bataoge. Thik hai? Chalo. Isko divide karo, divide karo. PE, PE cancel sin theta upon cos theta is tan theta and that is equal to ye divide karo 10 power minus 6, 10 power minus 6 cancel, 8, 8 cancel so it is equal to root 3. Tan theta root 3 ka baata hai jab angle humara ho jata hai 60 degree. Angle kya ho jayega? 60 degree. Thik hai? Fine? Veta aaj khub jam ke so. Tension mat lo. Jo ho na tha wo to ho chuka. Ek din mein aap kuch kar bhi nahi sakte. Aur ek din mein aapka kuch bigad bhi nahi sakta. To simple ek dam maje se so vita. Achche se aaram karo. Khud ko relax do. Mind ko relax karo. Aur phir ek dam binda so ke paper dene chale jau. Chaliye. Question number 23. The potential of a large liquid drop when 8 liquid drops are combined is 20 volt. Thik hai. Humare paas 8 liquid drops hai. हर ड्रॉप पे चार्ज अज्यूम कर लेते हैं Q और हर ड्रॉप का रेडियस मान लेते हैं स्मॉल r ठीक है इसमें आपको एक शॉर्टकट बताती हो सकता है आपको नीट के एग्जाम के लिए काम आ जाए बेटा बहुत ही प्यारा सा शॉर्टकट है राइट सो दिस इज इट फॉर सिंगल ड्रॉप जब आप ऐसी आठ ड्रॉप्स को कंबाइन करोगे तो आपका टोटल चार्ज ऑन दिस बिगर ड्रॉप क्या हो जाएगा 8q और रेडियस आपका आ जाएगा कैपिटल r ठीक है अब जनरली हम क्या करते हैं कैपिटल आर को स्मॉल आर के टर्म्स में फाइंड करने के लिए हम वॉल्यूम इक्वेट करते हैं फाइन कुछ मत करो बस ये अपना शॉर्टकट याद रखो कि कैपिटल आर इज इक्वल टू एन टू द पावर 1/3 इनटू आर वेयर एन इज द नंबर ऑफ ड्रॉप्स कंबाइंड एंड स्मॉल आर क्या हो जाएगा रेडियस ऑफ द स्मॉलर ड्रॉप कितनी ड्रॉप्स कंबाइन करोगे 8 सो so, ये हो जाएगा 8 टू द पावर 1/3 इनटू आर एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू 2 आर ठीक है so basically, bigger drop ka jo radius hai, that is two times the smaller drop. Fine. So now situation clear ho gaya. Total charge, total radius, sab pata chal gaya. Ab mujhe kya bola ki jo bigger drop hai, uska potential 20 volt hai. Iske surface pe kya aega? K 8Q divided by capital R, which is equal to 2R, is equal to 20 volt. Fine. So bacho ye ho jayega 4. So kq upon r ki value kitni aayegi? 20 upon 4 that is equal to 5 volt. Thik hai? Mujhe batana hai what is the potential of the single drop? Single drop ka potential kya hooga? To iske surface pe potential aayega kq upon r. 
वो वैल्यू तो हम ऑलरेडी निकाल के बैठे हैं दैट इज इक्वल टू फाइव वोल्ट सो करेक्ट आंसर आ जाएगा ऑप्शन वन वेल डन गाइस देखो ये शॉर्टकट याद रखना हर जगह एप्लीकेबल है जहाँ जहाँ आप ड्रॉप्स कंबाइन करोगे वहाँ वहाँ ये शॉर्टकट लगा देना ठीक है रेडियस का रिलेशन आ गया काम इजी हो जाएगा चलिए अगला क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर अ पैरेलल प्लेट ए कैपेसिटर ऑफ कैपेसिटेंसी इज कनेक्टेड टू अ सेल ऑफ ई एम एफ वी ठीक है देन डिसकनेक्टेड फ्रॉम इट तो पहले हमने क्या किया इस कैपेसिटर को चार्ज किया चार्ज करने के बाद हमने बैटरी हटा दी बोले अब तुम ऐसे ही रहो A dielectric slab of dielectric constant K, which can just fill the air gap of the capacitor, is now inserted. ठीक है हमने इसके बीच में dielectric constant ऐसे भर दिया. Fine. और उसका dielectric constant आ गया K. चलो आ गया. ठीक है. Which of the following is incorrect? इसमें से कौन सा है ना incorrect होगा? ऑल राइट right, बहुत ही बढ़िया देखो मैडम के क्वेश्चन पढ़ने से पहले बच्चों के आंसर आ रहे हैं बहुत ही बढ़िया गाइस ऐसे ही नीट पेपर में जोश होना चाहिए हमारा सो so, बच्चों देखो हमने इसका ना चार्ज फ्लो करने का पाथ पूरा ब्रेक कर दिया राइट right, तो चार्ज विल नॉट चेंज जो चार्ज अभी है वही चार्ज क्या रहेगा बाद में रहेगा तो चार्ज विल बी कंजर्व सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट बोल रहे चार्ज नहीं कंजर्व रहेगा तो ये हो गए इनकरेक्ट फाइन कैपेसिटर में जैसे ही अपने डायलेक्ट्रिक इंसर्ट किया उसका जो कैपेसिटी होगा दैट विल इंक्रीज कितना k टाइम c नॉट q इज इक्वल्स टू सी वी राइट तो यहाँ पे बच्चों चार्ज तो सेम है तो v हो जाएगा q अपॉन c राइट तो पोटेंशियल आपका जो होगा वो नया पोटेंशियल जो होगा दैट इज q अपॉन k c नॉट तो आपका जो पोटेंशियल है दैट इज डिक्रीजिंग टू डिक्रीज इज के टाइम्स फाइन और आपका जो एनर्जी है एनर्जी स्टोर्ड जो होगा पहले क्यू स्क्वायर अपॉन टू सी एनर्जी था अब हो जाएगा क्यू स्क्वायर अपॉन टू के सी तो एनर्जी भी आपका हो गया डिक्रीज कितना डिक्रीज हुआ हाफ सी वी स्क्वायर इंटू वन अपॉन के माइनस वन तो ये सारे स्टेटमेंट्स कारेक्ट है एक्सेप्ट दिस वन तो हमारा जो सही आंसर आएगा दैट इज ऑप्शन टू वेल डन गाइज वेल डन बहुत ही बढ़िया ऑल राइट गाइज देखो बहुत ही प्यारा क्वेश्चन हमारा द इक्वलेंट रेजिस्टेंस बिटवीन ए एंड बी फॉर द मैश Shown in the figure is four and eight are in series. So four or eight का combination हो जाएगा four plus eight that is twelve ohm, right? अभी twelve ohm six ohm के साथ क्या है parallel में this is six, this is twelve और four और eight तो अभी भी हैं six and twelve का parallel combination बच्चों yes बहुत ही बढ़िया जब R1 वन एंड आर दो रेजिस्टेंसेस पैरेलल में होते हैं तो उनका पैरेलल कॉम्बिनेशन क्या हो जाता है R1 R2 डिवाइडेड बाय R1 वन प्लस आर याद रखो बहुत हेल्प करेगा R1 वन इज ट्वेल्व आर टू इज सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय R1 वन प्लस आर टू ट्वेल्व प्लस सिक्स दैट इज एटीन एंड दिस विल गिव यू फोर ओम है ना तो इस पूरे ट्राइंगल की वैल्यू इज इक्वल इन टू फोर ओम फाइन सो टोटल अब मेरे पास क्या है फोर ऐसे फोर एस ए एंड एट एस ए तो टोटल इक्वलेंट क्या आ गया फोर प्लस फोर प्लस एट दैट इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन ओम बहुत ही बढ़िया बच्चों बहुत ही बढ़िया सो करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन थ्री वेल डन एवरी वन तो ऐसे ही बस लगे रहो इसी जोश के साथ इसी कॉन्फिडेंस के साथ हमें नीट फिजिक्स पेपर अटेम्प्ट करना है नाम श्योर sure आपके बहुत बढ़िया मार्क्स आएंगे एंड डोंट वेरी गाइज वी आर हियर फॉर यू वी आर हियर विथ यू कोई भी दिक्कत हो हम 5:30 को वापस मिलेंगे ऑन सेवनटीन जहाँ पे हम नीट के पेपर को अच्छे से डिस्कस करेंगे और देखेंगे आगे क्या होता है राइट right? सो so, कहीं पे भी मत जाना बच्चों ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट अच्छे से पढ़ते रहना और आगे के जो क्वेश्चंस हैं वो चेतन सर डिस्कस करेंगे ऑल द बेस्ट बच्चों बाय बाय हेलो 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 एवरीवन माय नेम इज चेतन कुमावत सो विल डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स या सो दिस इज क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम ईएमआई यू आर हैविंग द मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स इनिशियली इट इज टू वेबर एंड फाइनली इट इज टेन वेबर 
in 0 0.2 uh, second and you need to find what is the charge flown through it, right? The charge passed through it. And if we want to find the charge, so kya formula hota hai? The flux may change divided by resistance, right? And what is the change in flux? That is 10 minus 2 upon resistance is given to you 2 ohm. So your answer will be 4 coulomb of charge, right? Very simple question, direct formula based question from EMI. That is fourth option. Moving ahead, the question number 27, when current is passing through this, so by seeing this unit, you get to know that this is di by dt, right? That is 2 ampere per second, all right? And you are having the induced EMF of 10 volt. And you know that induced EMF is given by L into di by dt. So if it is 10 and this is 2, so your inductance value, inductance value will be 5 Henry. Right, and what is asked in the question is energy stored in the inductor. And energy stored, jab bhi aapko nikalni ho, to you just apply the formula U is equal to half Li square, L value you know, current is given to you as 2 ampere, so it is 4, so this is 10 joule, that is in second option. Hai na? Very formula based question, jesa need hamesha poochta aya hai, bilkul formula based question, aise hi aapko 17 ko dekhne ko milega Sunday ke paper mein, right? All right. Very good Kalyan. Question number 28 pe apan. To earth ka magnetic field is given to you 0.5 Gauss, right? And you know that 1 Gauss is equal to 10 to the power minus 4 Tesla. So the magnetic field value will be 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 Tesla, right? The field is to be cancelled by the magnetic induction at the center of the coil. So what is happening? You have a circular coil and there is a uh, magnetic field due to earth that is this one but you need to make its resultant at zero here it means the magnetic field due to the circle should be equal to the horizontal magnetic field due to earth right and due to a circular coil what is the formula for magnetic field at center this is mu naught i upon 2r this pi is not here okay 2r into that should be equal to 0 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla right so you can calculate it you need to find the current right so it will be 1 into r radius is given to you 5 centimeters so it is 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 so it is 50 by 4 pi so it is approximately 4 ampere right 4 threesa is 12 and 50 by 12 will be approximately 4 ampere that is in third option right R is not for total charge on the viewer. Okay, you are saying something. All right. Question number 29. This is the question from nuclear physics. Very simple question, but you need to focus this on ex uh, this in exam also. That binding energy per nucleon is given, not the binding energy, right? So for lithium, you are having this much binding energy per nucleon. So binding energy for lithium will be binding energy per nucleon multiplied by number of nucleons they are 7 in lithium so this is 2 and this will be 39.2 mega electron volt 39.2 mega electron volt right in the same way you can find the binding energy for helium that will be binding energy per nucleon is 7.06 and the number of nucleons are 4 so it will be 28.2 24 mega electron volt. Um, now see the reaction. There are two helium atoms, right? Basically two alpha particle and one this. And you want to find the Q value for this reaction. So just subtract product minus reactant. But helium is not one. We are having two helium atoms. So just multiply this 28.24 by 2 and minus you need to do 39.24. To write so it will be 48 56 minus 39.2 so it will be 7 4 1 point 28 mega electron volt so this is approximately equal to the option number 4 all right 8.4 yeah moving ahead question number 30 question number 30 is through two parallel wires so you are having two parallel wires but they are having current in opposite direction one is having 10 ampere other is having 2 ampere right and you know that if you are having two parallel wires then the force per unit length is given by 
mu naught i1 i2 by 2 pi d where d is the distance between them right so you need to calculate the force the part of length is given to you 2 meter mu naught you know mu naught upon 2 pi will be 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 right this is a very simple calculation right and i1 i2 is 20 divided by d d is also given to you right that is the length of the wire is this 10 centimeter is given to you that is the distance 10 centimeter in meter will be 0 0.1 right and f you need to find so it will be 80 into 10 to the power minus 6 newton right or you can write 8 into 10 to the power minus 5 newton that is in first option direct formula based question and force parallel wires mein force pe bahut baar neat mein question aaya please make sure aap isko revise kare aapko kuch nahi aa raha hai na is paper ko solve karne par if you are feeling ki this something i don't know to please go through the short notes hai na ek baar thoda sa halka sa nazar maan le because aapko formula bhi yaad hoga to you will score a lot in neat right moving ahead question number 31 so this is again from modern physics you are having let's say initial number of nuclei n not hai na and it reduced to 50% in half life right you know that and it reduced to another 50% in another half life right so you just say that 60 days are the time taken for 25% so just imagine to uh, like getting 50% it should be the twice right it should be the twice of 60 uh, sorry it should be the half of 16 that is 8 days so this is the like we know from the common sense but if you want to apply the formula definitely you can apply that n is equal to n naught e k power minus lambda t so if it, this is getting reduced by 25 percent you will have minus lambda into this time is given to you 16 right just take both side log so you will have 2 times of ln 2 is equal to minus 16 lambda you will get lambda as ln 2 by 8 now you want the half life like for 50 percent i guess yes so for 50 percent n will be half that is equal to e to the power minus lambda into t this t you need to find again take log at both sides so you will have ln 2 is equal to minus ln 2 by 8 into t half and this half will be 8 years is given it is days not years so eight days will be our answer yeah nice kalyan uh, this is the second option all right moving to the next question it's a very simple question from the Broglie wavelength that is lambda is h upon p which is inversely proportional to p right so what should be the graph you know that y is proportional to 1 by x so it should be the rectangular hyperbola right so lambda or let's say p or you may say lambda p or lambda this graph will be same hai na? The, the same thing you can write like this also both graphs will be hyperbola whether you make uh, from p to lambda or lambda to p all right moving ahead to the next question so this is the question from photoelectric effect very simple equation this is the very scoring chapter because we are having a lot of question based on this single formula in this chapter right hc upon lambda minus phi i mean you know that phi is the work function which is independent on like the what is the incident light it completely depends on the metal so metal is same phi will not change right so what you are doing is you are increasing the like wavelength lambda is getting decrease uh, increased so obviously e will get decrease so if e will get decrease then my k max will decrease so if k max will decrease so definitely e into stopping potential will decrease means stopping potential will decrease but it might happen it might happen that when you are increasing this this energy might be less than the work function in that case there will be no emission right it might happen so we have to read the options very carefully may or may not be emitted yes this is completely dependent on how is the value of e and phi is varying right how this e is greater than phi that is dependent on so it might happen that electrons are not emitted from the surface so a is right stopping potential decreases if electrons are emitted right so stopping potential is decreases a and b are right so first option should be right moving to the next question very famous question and so many exams like in j e. mains also they have asked lot of times the same question for the photon you need to find the momentum okay 
सो यू नो दैट लेमडा इज एच अपॉन पी राइट एंड मोमेंटम विल बी एच बाई लेमडा एंड लेमडा यू कैन राइट द वेलॉसिटी डिवाइडेड बाई फ्रीक्वेंसी सो इट विल बी एच न्यू बाई सी डायरेक्ट फॉर्मूला बेस्ड क्वेश्चन है ना दिस इज नॉट वी एक्चुअली दिस इज न्यू है ना सो सेकेंड ऑप्शन शुड बी द राइट आंसर फॉर द मोमेंटम गुड गुड वेरी गुड कल्याण आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन फॉर डाउट वट एवर यू हैव डाउट जस्ट पुट इन द चैट बॉक्स आई रीड इट आउट ओके डोंट वेरी क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फाइव इन दिस क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू चेक वेदर डायोड इज इन फॉरवर्ड बायस्ट और रिवर्स बायस राइट सो यू कैन से दिस इज पॉजिटिव एंड दिस इज नेगेटिव सो डी वन इज नेगेटिव हेयर सो नेगेटिव इज कनेक्टेड टू पॉजिटिव सो दिस विल बी इन रिवर्स बायस इट विल नॉट अलाउ एनी करंट सो यू कैन रिमूव दिस ब्रांच नाउ यू आर हैविंग अ वेरी सिंपल सर्किट दिस इज टू ओम दिस इज टू ओम सो करंट विल बी टू अपॉन टेन अपॉन ई एम एफ अपॉन टोटल रेजिस्टेंस इज टू प्लस टू दैट इज टू पॉइंट फाइव एम्पियर राइट सो दैट इज फर्स्ट ऑप्शन वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम सेमी कंडक्टर सर वाई स्टॉपिंग पोटेंशियल इंक्रीजेज डिड आई से इंक्रीजेज एच सी बाई लेमडा माइनस फाइव वॉज देयर राइट राइट बेटा सो लेमडा इज गेटिंग इंक्रीज राइट सो एच सी बाई लेमडा विल डिक्रीज सो स्टॉपिंग पोटेंशियल विल डिक्रीज ना आई डेंट से इट विल इंक्रीज आई सेड आई दैट इट विल डिक्रीज है ना दैट वॉज द ओनली ऑप्शन आई हैव सेलेक्टेड स्टॉपिंग पोटेंशियल डिक्रीजेज देन आई सेड ओनली ए एंड बी आर ट्रू ओके Yeah, so this question is done also. Two point five here. I hope now your doubt is clear, है ना? Bobby Viswas, Viswas. Yeah. All right. Moving to the question number thirty six. It's the question, very simple question, very formula based question from semiconductor that beta is current gain is given by I C by I B. So you can get I C is equal to beta is forty and I B is twenty five. So it is one thousand micro ampere, right? But you don't need IC. You need IE, and you know that IE is equal to current in emitter is equal to current in collector plus current in base. So this is thousand, and this is twenty five. So one thousand twenty five micro ampere is answer, or you can write one point zero two five milli ampere, right? So that is second option. Direct formula based question. Very good. All right. Moving to the next question. Very simple question. In this chapter, you have to remember that velocity of wave is equal to like the direction of velocity of wave is equal to the E cross B. है ना? Electric field and magnetic field is E and B, and C is the direction of velocity. है ना? And obviously, if there is the that is the relation, and they all are mutually perpendicular to each other. So if you are having electromagnetic wave which is traveling in east. and let's say my east is in this direction so wave is in this direction right so this is the direction of c cap let us say right and electric field is one instant is given a points straight up hai na so if this is the direction of velocity electric field is in upward direction and i know that e cross b should be in the direction of velocity means in the direction of east so if this is e how should i rotate my fingers so that i can get the thumb in this direction e cross b e cross b now i will get the thumb in east direction means b should be in this direction right means b should be in this direction so if this is east this will be south this will be north and this is west right east west north and south and that was the direction of magnetic field so e cross b will come in the direction of velocity right All right. So uh, the direction of magnetic field will be in the south direction. Moving to the next question, angular momentum of a particle in a hydrogen atom. If you know that uh, Bohr's model, angular momentum quantization is angular momentum in a orbit of for electron is given by n h upon two pi. So angular momentum is proportional to n, and radius of the orbit is proportional to n square right so n is proportional to square root of r so obviously l is proportional to square root of r that is in third option this is how you can relate any like two concept or two formulas hai na just proportionality they have asked moving to the next question so this is a very easy question but it seems to be difficult hai na but you have to just visualize this question so there is a straight wire and there is a ring like this and you need to find the force between them and if you guys know that if there is a current carrying wire 
है ना इफ देर इज ए करंट केयरिंग वायर दिस सर्कुल लाइक द सर्कुल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइन्स आर सर्कुलर इन नेचर राइट सो दिस इज हाउ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइन्स विल बी देयर राइट इन दिस डायरेक्शन एंड यू आर प्लेसिंग द सर्कल द सर्कुलर कोइल ऑल्सो इन दिस डायरेक्शन सो यू जस्ट इमेजिन द मैग्नेटिक फोर्स इज गिवन बाय आई डी एल क्रॉस बी so if the angle between dl and b at every instant is zero because lines are also circular and coil is also circular in the same direction so at every instant the angle will be zero between them so force will be zero so nothing to worry about it it is a very simple question but you have to visualize what have been asked to us what has been asked to us okay hai na to aise aise question may ask neat very easily hai na this this is a very famous question from this chapter है ना जिसका आंसर बहुत जल्दी से जीरो आ जाता है बट इट सीम्स कि भाई पता नहीं क्या करना होगा ऑल राइट मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज द ऑब्वियसली साइनोसोइडल करंट सो इफ दिस इज द पीक वैल्यू ऑफ करंट व्हाट विल बी द आरएमएस वैल्यू ऑफ करंट जस्ट डिवाइड इट बाय रूट टू सो आर वैल्यू इज फाइव एम सो वेन यू हैव आर वैल्यू एंड यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट द हीट इन रेजिस्टेंस सो जस्ट अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला you don't need heat actually you they have asked the power so i square into r i square bole to 5 square that is 25 and resistance is given to you 1 kilo ohm right so my power will be 25 this kilo means kilo into volt right this was ampere square all right so 25 kilo volt direct formula based question right be confident about your answers please be confident about your answers don't change your answers right very good almost every student is getting right answer moving to the next question resistance of two gaps in a meter brace right so if you know that in meter brace we are having two resistance this is a scale there is a galvanometer so this is r this is s so initially it was 10 cm so obviously remaining will be 90 cm i am sorry this is initially i don't know this is 100 minus l but this i know this is 10 ohm and this is 30 ohm that is given to you in the question and it works on balanced wheatstone bridge means the ratio of resistance and length should be equal right so if you will put r value as 10 30 upon 100 minus l so l will come from here 25 cm right three times and 4l equal to 100 so l will come 25 cm so this is the initial length now what you have done as you have just interchanged the resistance so in the second case this s will come this side so 30 upon let's say the new length is x and this 10 will go that side so 10 upon so the remaining length will be 100 minus x right so this is 300 is equal to 4x so my x is 75 cm so initially balancing length was 25 cm and right now i am having 75 cm so they have just asked not new balancing length they have asked you the shift neat mein aise question aate hain aur aap galat karke aate ho aap 75 nikalte hi seedha tick maar doge halanki yahan par option nahi hai but it might happen ki wo 75 option mein de to question ko dhyan se padhna unhone final balancing length puchi hai ya ek proper shift pucha hai ki kitna shift karna hai to shift is 25 and 75 is the new one so shift will be 75 minus 25 that is 50 cm ka aapko shift karna padega all right तो थोड़ा सा ध्यान से जरूर लैंग्वेज को पढ़े फिजिक्स के क्वेश्चन बहुत इजी आते हैं बट आप लैंग्वेज पे फोकस नहीं करते हैं और बहुत सिली मिस्टेक्स करके आ जाते हैं है ना और आप देखेंगे कैलकुलेशन भी इतनी कोई बहुत ज्यादा खास नहीं आती है ऑल राइट मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन या सो टू ऑब्जेक्ट आर प्लेस्ड ऑन अ प्रिंसिपल दिस इज आई वुड से वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन इन दिस चैप्टर सो यू आर हैविंग अ कन्वर्जिंग लेंस and what is happening if you are placing a object at 20 cm and you are placing an object at 40 cm these are two objects the image is getting coincides how it can happen just imagine how it can happen it will only happen if this forms a virtual image at this side and this forms a real image at this side so if i apply the for, uh, lens formula for this that is 1 by v and minus should be there because the image will be in this direction virtual image minus 1 by u is minus 20 is equal to 1 by f and 4 o2 the relation will be only like this 
है ना बिकॉज इट्स इमेज विल बी इन ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन सो वी फॉर दैट विल बी पॉजिटिव राइट सो फोर्टी या एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द फोकल लेंथ तो जस्ट एड दैम इफ यू विल एड दैम सो यू विल हैव वन फोर्टी प्लस वन बाई फोर्टी इज इक्वल टू टू बाई एफ राइट सो एटी विल बी कॉमन और यू कैन से थ्री फोर्टी इज इक्वल टू टू बाई एफ सो फोकल लेंथ विल बी एटी बाई थ्री सेंटीमीटर दैट इज थर्ड ऑप्शन ऑल राइट हेलो हेलो हाय रजत हाउ आर यू मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यंग्स डबल स्लेट एक्सपेरिमेंट वाई डी एस सी से ऑलवेज दे हैव दे ऑलवेज लाइक आस्क द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम वाई डी एस सी दे विल नेवर मिस द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम यंग्स मॉड्यूलर्स है ना दिस सॉरी यंग्स डबल स्लेट एक्सपेरिमेंट ओके सो यू नीड टू फाइंड द लोकेशन ऑफ सेंट्रल मैक्सिमा एंड देर इज इस लाइक लिटिल बिट चेंज फ्रॉम द ऑर्डिनरी वाई डी एस सी ordinary ydsc happens in air only but what you are doing you are putting a slab in front of the upper slit so obviously this ray has to like the change in path comes mu minus 1 into t times if you place a slab in front of a slit hai na so this ray will travel more so this has to also travel more to get zero path difference so there will be like something here the central maxima फर्स्ट थिंग है ना सो वेदर यू प्लेस अप सो सेंट्रल मैक्सिमा विल शिफ्ट अप यू प्लेस इफ यू प्लेस इन द लोअर स्लिट सेंट्रल मैक्सिमा विल बी बिलो राइट सो इट विल शिफ्ट डेफिनेटली एंड इट वेर इट विल शिफ्ट अपवर्ड सो यू कैन डायरेक्टली आंसर विथआउट थिंकिंग अबाउट दिस है ना दैट इज ओनली वन ऑप्शन विच इज टेलिंग यू दैट इट शिफ्ट अपवर्ड बट ऑब्वियसली यू कैन कैलकुलेट हाउ मेनी लाइक टाइम्स इट इट गोट shifted that is mu minus 1 into t times by lambda so mu is 1.5 it is will be 0.5 t is given to you this and lambda is given to you 5 into 10 to the power minus 7 so it is coming two times so it will go up by two times all right hai na but i don't think ki aap yadi neat mein kar rahe hain to aapko ye karne ki bhi zarurat hai aapko ek chhota sa aisa confirmation answer mil jata hai ki definite hai कि ये जो स्लिट है ये ऊपर ही शिफ्ट होनी है तो वो एक ही ऑप्शन है तो उसको टिक करके आगे बढ़ो फालतू में टाइम क्यों वेस्ट करना है राइट थैंक्स रियस मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन है ना दिस इज अगेन आई वुड से गुड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम डॉपलर इफेक्ट एन ऑब्जर्वर इज स्टैंडिंग इन बिटवीन टू शोर्स वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन आई शुड से अकॉर्डिंग टू द नीट लेवल सो यू आर हैविंग टू शोर्सेज दिस शोर्स इज मूविंग लाइक दिस दिस शोर्स इज ऑल्सो मूविंग विद द विलोसिटी वी एंड देर इज अ ऑब्जर्वर है ना एंड वेलोसिटी ऑफ साउंड इज गिवन टू यू वी नॉट सो जस्ट अप्लाई द डॉपलर इफेक्ट फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर सो व्हाट फ्रीक्वेंसी इट विल हियर द ओरिजिनल फ्रीक्वेंसी दैट इज स्पीड ऑफ साउंड एंड ऑब्जर्वर इज एट रेस्ट सो देयर विल बी नथिंग इन न्यूमरेटर अपॉन दिस शोर्स इज कमिंग नियर टू द ऑब्जर्वर सो फ्रीक्वेंसी हैज टू इंक्रीज मीन्स इन डिनोमिनेटर इट शुड कम माइनस राइट then only frequency will increase and in this case f2 original frequency observer is again at rest observer is again at rest so if observer is again at rest again v not plus 0 upon now this source is going away from the observer so frequency has to decrease means in denominator it will increase and if these are the two frequencies heard by this man so what is the beat frequency that is just the difference between them right so take a difference and which one is more f1 is more so just to f1 minus f2 so f v not 1 upon v not minus v minus v not plus v so just subtract it f v not into 2 v upon v not square minus v square after lcm so which option is matching with it that is first option right All right. So good question from Doppler effect. Moving to the next question, a cylindrical tank has a hole of. So you have the volume rate by which this tank is getting filled. That is hundred centimeter cube per second. And you know, like if you have read about equation of continuity, the volume rate is equal to area into velocity. This is hundred centimeter cube per second. Area is given to you two centimeter square. So your velocity will be fifty centimeter per second. and you know that velocity of efflux is given by root 2 gh this is 50 or i can write 0.5 also right so this is 1 by 2 actually so square both sides so it will be 1 by 8g hai na 
All right, so it will be 1 by 8 into 10 to the power minus 1, so, or you can write 0 0.125 into 10 to the power minus 1 meter. Just match with the option, it is 1.25 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter, that is in second option, right? Very simple question, I should say, but yeah, good question. Simple but good question. Uh, two formulas are there to mix them. Moving to the next question, this is direct formula based question. You are mixing two gases and how to find the CV and CP for a mixer is a very simple formula. CV of mixture is given by N1 CV1 plus N2 CV2 divided by N1 plus N2. What are the number of moles for the first gaze? They are 3. It is a monoatomic, so 3 by 2 R. Second gaze is 2 moles and it is diatomic, so 5 by 2 R divided by n1 plus n2 so it will be 19 by 10 r it is 19 by 10 r and you know that cp minus cv is always equal to r so cp mixture will be just this one plus r means 29 r by 10 and you need cp by cv means 29 by 19 that is in Second option, direct formula based question and essay question need ke favorite question hai bhai, dhyan rakhe. They can ask you the molecular weight, uh, like mixture ka molecular weight kitna hoga, they may ask you what is the, uh, like mix, mixer ka CV, they may ask you what is the mixer ka uh, internal energy, they may ask you what is the mixer ka CP. Moving to the 47th question, so one end of a cylindrical road is kept in a steam, what is happening in this question, you are having a road one is in steam other is in ice right so what will happen if this is thermal conductivity k area is a and length is a so due to this temperature difference there will be conduction by the rate of k a 100 minus 0 by l this will get converted into the like latent heat of fusion this this heat will be used to melt the ice that ice melting is given by latent heat of fusion right m into l so this dm by dt for the first case is 0 0.5 gram in one second so you can write 0 0.5 into l but in second one what you are doing the thermal conductivity is same i guess double the thermal conductivity of the first load so thermal gate uh, thermal conductivity is two times but what about area half of the diameter so diameter is getting half means area will be one by four this is again 100 minus 0 divided by same length is written here so length is same i need the new dm by dt and l is 80 calorie per gram for the ice that will be same in both the cases just divide these two expression you will have two times of 0 0.5 upon dm by dt just check if there is any calculation mistake if you will divide them you will have yeah two will be upside so dm by dt will be dm by dt will be 1 by 4 so your answer should be 0 0.25 gram per second i guess there is a calculation mistake can we check half of the diameter okay so then the rate of the meaning of ice will be double the conductivity i don't think there is any mistake 2 will go up i guess it's right right no sir continue Anna? it's right right first option should be right all right moving to the next question question number 48 so this is again a good question I should say from so you are having simple micro consist of a concave lens and a concave lens. So th there is one convex lens and other is a concave lens and both are in contact. So whenever you are having what nature of uh, lens is there doesn't matter. Hai na? What nature of okay okay Raghu don't worry. So what nature of lenses are there doesn't matter you just need like you just add the powers right for the combination so first power is minus 10 d and the next one is 20 10 d so power will be 10 d so if you know the power can you calculate the focal length can you calculate the focal length obviously 1 by f is equal to the power that is 10 so f will be 0 0.1 and whenever you are having d as a unit means diopter then your focal length will be in meters so you can write as at 10 centimeter and if the image is formed at infinity so if image forms infinity magnification is given by d by f d you know distance for 
है ना लीस्ट डिस्टिंक्ट रीजन एंड एफ यू हैव कैलकुलेटेड सो मैग्नीफाइंग पावर शुड बी 2.5 मैग्नीफाइंग पावर शुड बी 2.5 राइट 48th क्वेश्चन मूविंग अहेड सो दिस आई वुड से अ गुड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम काइनेमेटिक्स है ना अकॉर्डिंग टू द नीट अ पार्टिकल स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम रेस्ट हैज अ कांस्टेंट एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ 40 मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर फॉर 4 सेकंड सो व्हेनेवर यू आर हैविंग अ क्वेश्चन इन व्हिच एक्सेलरेशन इज गेटिंग लाइक डिफरेंट चेंज आई वुड ऑलवेज सजेस्ट यू टू मेक अ वेलोसिटी टाइम ग्राफ सो यू आर हैविंग अ एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ 4 मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर फॉर 4 सेकंड मींस वेलोसिटी अचीव्ड इज a into t दैट इज 4 into 4 मींस 16 मीटर पर सेकंड इज सो व्हाट विल हैपन वेलोसिटी विल बी 16 मीटर पर सेकंड आफ्टर 4 सेकंड now in another next 8 second mean total is 12 second right this one is 8 second it is coming to the rest can you calculate and what is asked to the question the average speed and average speed is basically the distance upon time and how to calculate the distance if you know the vt graph the distance is calculated by the area half base is 12 area is the uh, like height is 16 so this this is the distance right and average speed you need to so 6 upon 16 6 into 66 is distance and the total time taken in the journey is 12 so it will be 8 meter per second in whatever way you have solved i would only suggest this because in this equation you will uh, in this method you will not involve in so many like equations to solve mathematics you will like save the time so 8 meter per second is answer moving to the last question this is again a good question from shm so you are having the value of k as 2 into 10 to the power 6 newton per meter and amplitude is given by 0 0.01 meter so can you calculate the total energy so generally we remember that the total energy of shm is given by half k a square k is 2 into 10 to the power 6 a square is 10 to the power minus 4 so it is 100 joule but that is not the case here the total energy is given by 160 joule to matlab kuch to gadbad hai and what is the gadbad let us just understand ki what is the kick click point here so you know that at mean position generally we assume potential energy zero and here we say the uh, total energy is half k a square right but that is not happening here actually the potential en and potential energy here is k half k a square right and kinetic energy here is zero at extreme position kinetic energy is zero so total energy given to you in the question is 160 joule but half k like here you are having the total energy as 100 joule only half by half k a square so it means 60 joule is the reference potential energy at this point right so here if you need to calculate the potential energy it will be 160 joule why kinetic energy is zero so the whole energy will be in potential energy right so 160 joule is the maximum value of what potential energy it is 0 at mean uh, 60 at mean position 60 say it will increase to 160 and what about kinetic energy here it is 0 kinetic energy and total energy is 160 and here potential energy is 60 means kinetic energy has to be 100 joule and this will be maximum because velocity at maximum uh, mean, mean position is maximum right so kinetic energy maximum should be 100 joule that is in second option and maximum energy or potential energy will not be 100 it will be 160 that is why it is wrong so this was the last question of the paper bilkul easy easy question aapke exam mein aane wale hain please be focused and please take care of your health do din mein aap achhe se neend le aur achhe se neet ke exam mein phod ke aana hai aapko ekdam be confident on what you have prepared please be confident on what you have prepared कुछ भी ज्यादातर YouTube बंद कर दो अब YouTube को ज्यादा देखना छोड़ दो एकदम बढ़िया से मोटिवेट होके बढ़िया से नींद लो मस्त हल्की नींद लो ओके okay? एंड अच्छे से आपको एग्जाम देके आना है ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट टू ऑल ऑफ यू यू गाइस विल रॉक डेफिनेटली इन द एग्जाम दैट्स कंप्लीटली गोना हैपन 
एंड वी विल मीट अगेन एट फाइव थर्टी ऑन सेवनटीन ऑफ जुलाई ऑन द कमिंग संडे ओके विद द सोल्यूशन ऑफ नीट फास्टेस्ट फास्टेस्ट सोल्यूशन ऑफ द नीट यू गाइज प्लीज टेक केयर ऑफ योर हेल्थ है ना वी विल मीट ऑन संडे डेफिनेटली विद द सोल्यूशन ऑफ विद द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द नीट पेपर विच यू आर गो ना अपियर ऑल राइट थैंक यू एवरी वन फॉर ज्वाइनिंग द सेशन बाय बाय गुड नाइट टेक केयर हैव ए वेरी गुड एंड हेल्दी स्लीप बाय